Black Compass, Black. Tone Bro checking in. Pose, what up? Is it oh, you breaking the oh, tone? Oh, man, off the intro? What you mean? Break, breaking up. Do no it again? Jeez. What? Yeah. I was fine on my end. I'm breaking up right now. Yeah, do it again. We got All five, right. four. Black Compass, Black Compass Media, back live with another one. Shout out to everybody that's out there right now. Tone Bro checking in. Pose, what up? We back, man. On this uh, Thursday, man. Tune like, what's good, Polo? Yo, what's good? Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Make sure y'all uh, subscribe and things like that, man. Hit us up on Twitter, Black Compass uh, BCM on Twitter yeah. and things like that. The Discord link is in the uh, description box, so make sure you go to that. Shout out to all the moderators and the people that are in here and things like that, too, man, because it's a lot going on. On a lot to talk about, gentlemen. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. yeah. Playoffs is heating up. My, well, playoff placement is heating up, right? Like the the NBA games are serious. Um, March Madness. Uh, y'all got your brackets? Do niggas still do brackets? Do, do man, like listen. I think everybody focus on the women. The men. I don't know. The, the college this year was a ass year for college for men. For the men. Yeah. For the women. The women got to join lit. Storylines in college are dead, bro. Like it's not even, you know what I'm saying? Like it's the not that same. For the women, the women got all that. Right. Like Yeah. They got storylines. We just see Kentucky get their ass whooped. What happened? Just saying Kentucky get their ass whooped, man. Yeah. It's over with. Yeah. <laughs> Brackets yeah. is out of here early. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um but but I I'm just like I'm interested because, because Just waiting until you get to that 16. Hold on, this nigga Mike. What happened? So, what you got, a new mic? Oh, yeah, it's one of them nights, man. What Fuck. happened? <laughs> what you mean? I'm cutting up Yeah, that? It's good now. It was, yeah. now you good. Okay. Yeah, let's not even say nothing when it cut up. Let's just let it Yeah, yeah. All right. Go ahead, though. Well, shit. Um, yeah, no, nah, but shout out to everybody, man. Uh, Definitely share the stream and things like that. A uh, lot going on. Where do we, gentlemen, where do we want to begin? Because a lot kind of happened and didn't happen. It's a lot of content. It's a lot of content to get to. Um, yeah. Um, ooh. Do we want to start with the hoax? Do we want to? Jesus. What's the hoax? The, the. Oh, the, yeah. We had a hoax. Oh, the, with uh, the fake report on the Lux? Yeah. Yeah. The report yeah. of Lux death. Bruh. Wow. For about yeah. 20 minutes. It was terrible, right? Like I, 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 I'm gonna be honest. Um, when that was reported or falsely reported, that is right, uh, on Twitter and things like that. Loaded Lux is gone, and R.I.P. Lux. I saw that first, probably. Um, yeah, that that was crazy. That was crazy, and I, I'm gonna say like fr- right off the bat, like no, like I that's I was yeah. in this total disbelief from the rip. You know what I'm saying? Um. You know, it puts a lot of stuff in perspective for me personally. Uh, and I was just like, damn, like, you know what I mean? Like, it, it took a lot. It took a lot. But I think in about 20 minutes, I was able to be like, okay, cool. Because I tapped in with the people that is close to Lux and things like that. And uh, that that definitely um, didn't appreciate that. Did not appreciate that. I'm going to be honest. Didn't appreciate it. No, I'm not going to shout out the, the, the people, the platforms that kind of were pushing that but i don't i don't know bro I, I i didn't i didn't i didn't like that you know what i'm saying like the the we gotta verify stuff like that we can't we can't play around with yeah you can't just yeah 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 that, I don't know. yeah that that, that would have been a yeah man luck like damn yeah no nah, I, I mean I, I i knew when i read it the report i'm like that's just rant like i don't it just didn't feel real that's why i didn't even I, I'm honestly, I'm gonna be honest. I was really surprised that like the coach is just like off rip. Niggas just believe that shit. I'm like, damn, like y'all really believe that? Like we like now a nigga got shot. We like it just out of nowhere. Somebody just announced he just got shot. I don't like. I don't know, man. Then he was in Baltimore, DC, or whatever. Like it just didn't make no sense. Yeah, yeah. What you gonna say, Pose? My bad. Nah, I agree, man. That shit was random as hell. Like, hold on, Lux. What? Yeah. Yeah. That. 
that ain't really make no sense. So I, I already, I ain't even believe it off rip. Like I, I swear, they, you guys, I, like even I even put in the group chat. I'm like, yo, watch this nigga saying like, what is going on right now? Like, yeah, well, what, what is yeah. going on? And then when I, I found out, like I had got the info before, but I just was waiting to um see like if somebody was gonna go live and say the info. Then Uncasa went live and kind of uh said it. So yeah. I mean, it's good though. Yeah, he's he's. It's, it's, I mean, it was unfortunate. Somebody did die. Like some something did happen to somebody, right. which is unfortunate. Mm -hmm. So I, but I guess you know the culture is just fortunate. Who, who Lux is to battle rap right now, just not to lose him. So I think the culture was just like a sign of relief to that. Yeah, puts it in perspective, man. The culture does not play about its legends. You know what I'm saying? Like we just don't play about that type of stuff, right? And then in this era of impression farming and engagements ruling the day you know what i'm saying i'm like well damn am i gonna have to prepare for more of these types of salacious like immediate outrage stories and then we find out it's not true and then it's even more light shined on you know what i mean like so that's what rules is the, the you know what i mean that's what just what rules the era you, you know I, and i tweeted out it almost made more sense before wi-fi before Wi-Fi, it was magazines, DVDs, CDs, and stuff like that. Not to say people didn't lie back then, but it was like I don't know, like it wasn't it wasn't as much like here outrage. Like you ready? Like you know what I'm saying? I feel like every yeah. day, every day there's a new thing to be mad about. You know what I'm saying? And I just like you know part of me being able to protect my peace, I guess. And I hate that because that's overused, but really to just be like. You know what? I got to tune out certain stuff. I got certain things. I got a lot of stuff on Twitter just muted, like words and terms and people and stuff. I just, I can't do it. You know what I'm saying? Um, just, I, I don't know. I don't know. I That that was uh, that was crazy, though. Again, for about 30 minutes. That was uh, 20 minutes. That was crazy. Um, yeah. But this past weekend, we did have volume. Uh, volume 11, Smack. Um, yeah, we gotta, we gotta, we yeah, have we, to address the card. We do. We have to address the card. We have to talk about this, of course. And we gotta address the spaces too. Like we have to address that spaces. space. We do. Like, uh, well, let's start with the event. Yeah, let's start. Let's start with the event. This and also, also after this too, I want to rank the volumes. I got a list of all the volumes. We could go through them. I, I want to rank them from one to eleven. Yeah, no, nah, we should do okay, that. Okay, we can we do, that. do that. Um and I got a question for you brothers. Bro. After after we get to this after we do the volume shit. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. So Smack Volume 11 kicks off. I think this was in Florida. You know what I'm saying? At the uh the Smack Studios, which I don't think they I don't know if they call it that, but they do have a space now <laughs> where they can the uh, Smack Quarters. Smack Quarters. I I like that. that that's, that's that's cool. Okay. That's uh you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um so yeah, this was at this was at the the Smack Quarters and all that in Florida. Uh, I I presume the volume format has always been, you know, plus ones, invites only, maybe some celebrities in there, crowd of about seventy five people or so on and so forth. Uh, I'm gonna say this off the rip: J Black, wear a suit. What are you doing? Yeah, come on. I don't want to see. Salute to J Black. I don't want to see T-shirt J Black ever again. J Black. Wait, why you got? Why you can't no, sound because, comfortable? Because here's my, nah. Here's, he set the precedent already. Yeah. First of all, you set the precedent, right? Second. Nah, we need Jay Black back to with the no streets, suit nope. on is bad luck. Let's get to that. Nah. Let's yeah. Really, let's really get. We're to bringing that. it back to the streets to the beginning. Like no. We need a reset. No suits, nigga. No lineup. <laughs> don't even get a haircut. <laughs> It's a reset. And when when I, I ain't see it. no no, let's get to when I when I see him at the face offs in like a t shirt and he was like sitting with his arm folded and he was just like yeah we having some uh you know we gonna get shit right we trying I'm like oh yeah we in for a weekend niggas is showing up on the bullshit yeah 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 you know what I'm saying I, I understand <laughs> black you know what I'm saying you, you know, be in the gym. you know, had, you know uh, how I knew that yeah. first homecoming. Um, the first one, the one with Mook Battle Geechee, uh, you know how I knew that one was gonna be fire. Like the battles was gonna be good on, like cause the Jazz Vixen. 
niggas at the face off was amped up the battle week. Like niggas was amped up at the face offs. Like I like that energy when niggas show up serious or even the Drake card when we was at the face off for the Drake card. Sue Surf and Calico, they at viral energy like Pat State. Niggas, niggas, when 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 battle rappers show up to the face off serious, that lets you to believe the card is gonna be serious. Exactly. Exactly. I think it's because like. They done had like the um like the caffeine white people around like you gotta be here schedule here goes the face up you know they oh they got the they got the whole itinerary for this nigga yeah oh, here, it's off. like with a substitute teacher oh shit Ooh, now they just black niggas doing it they like man fuck these niggas let's do this face off get back to the regular and then uh, they don't even care man they don't give a fuck about what's going on with smack man <laughs> nah I knew shit was I'm gonna keep it real yeah. I. I knew caffeine, like, I knew they was getting, like, they was, I, I was at a face-off, what, I forgot what face-off it was, nigga behind, nigga was on the camera, nigga was just in his phone, nigga was just, not even looking at the face-off, I'm like, oh yeah, they about done with yeah. these niggas. No, absolutely. This song. I mean, that was. They about done. Huh? That was, that was definitely a, a, a sign right there, omen, if you will. And I, I'm gonna say this too, because my expectations for this card, you, you heard me on the last show, I'm like, you know. I tend to be more optimistic about these things. I understand last year, by consensus, right, on this platform and many others, RBE was number one last year. So in the minds of myself, many of the fans and pundits in this culture, Smack them needed a home run. They did, right? We needed this to be great. Mm -hmm. So we start off the night with an announcement, right, Jay Black. Braids, t shirt. I didn't see it. I didn't see it live, by the way. I got I sent it the next day, so I don't I didn't get yeah. the live experience. I seen it live, right? And I yeah, it wasn't really much of an experience. Was, there there was difficult to, so this was the first time that they actually streamed it independently, meaning it was streaming from URL TV TV. There was no use of rap grid or caffeine or anything like that. So they have their own streaming ability, right? And Tone Bro was a uh, battle rap tech support. Yes, I was. Yeah, I was. I was that guy. Clear, clear your cash. You know how this works. That's why that shit was fucking up. Got to clear your cash. Clear the cookies. <laughs> restart. Jump back in. Oh nigga. yeah, I did see you on Twitter go saying that to niggas, and yeah, then I see yeah. URL retweet you. I'm like, oh yeah, URL just they they <laughs> they so over there confused, man. Right, right, right. Like you gotta, you know what I'm saying? Now I understand that the culture uses the internet for porn and YouTube, so. I figured, okay, now I got to show y'all, okay, go to Chrome, go to settings, you know what I mean, things like that, right? Because I, I watched it on my computer, and you know what I'm saying, that was the best way to watch the uh, the car, but I know that some people had some difficulty, especially early on. Now, when we get to the event, the first announcement that we get, and shout out to the uh, Nunu in the, in the pink, yes, we didn't forget about you, um, uh, we get that Ace Amin and Um P is not going to happen. Second, they, they, so they told y'all that in the beginning. They told us that in the beginning. Ace, I on P. I think it was a, a flight situation, or you know, they didn't go into too many details about what occurred because you know, or whatever you know, what I'm saying. But uh, listen, that the battle's not taking place and things like that, right? And that was one of the battles. If y'all remember in the predictions, I actually thought that would be one of the better battles on the card. You know, what I'm saying Ace, I mean, his his style in the small room, it works. Um, P always shows up. I thought that would be one of the better battles, right? So we learned that that's going to be rescheduled. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now, now the the uh, the you know everything proceeds as, as normal. Little little breaks in between, some trailer work and things like that, right? Um, then we get Chef Trez versus Charlie Clips. Yeah, Chef Trez yeah. versus Charlie Clips. Now. I got some thoughts right. on this battle. Uh, po Polo, what, what, we'll start with you. Polo, what do you think, man? What do you, what do you think about this battle, bro? Um, yeah, this battle was this battle was uh it wasn't it wasn't good. Uh, it wasn't a really good battle. I thought it was a uh, um, wasn't really no nothing stand stood out um to me uh really in this battle. I thought Charlie Clips. Well, maybe was a little more comfortable than he usually is. Like I thought, his second round was pretty was was. I yeah. uh I shit I I had maybe Charlie Cliffs for fun two one maybe yeah Charlie Cliffs for fun two one um I thought I thought uh I thought Clips was on his way to winning the battle until the third round 
I guess maybe something either distracted him or something like that, and he had to kind of freestyle the rest of it. I, I don't nah, know. Nah, we're not doing that. Pose, he pose, wasn't go ahead, pose it. He <laughs> say he was distracted. Nigga was not no distracted. He's just doing that regular clip shit, man. Um, this battle was actually terrible. Oh. We I damn near hit a perfect battle rap parlay. A clip's terrible battle. <laughs> Chest choke. <laughs> um, parlay. Nigga said a rock fight. Perfect. Yeah. Damn near like this shit was free. Yeah. Um the parlay was crazy because we damn near got everything. Chest choke. Yep. Tay Rock fight. Yep. Clips bull, doing a bullshit round. Mm -hmm. We didn't get the three of them things from, from Chef Trez. We did not. We did not. Well, we did not listen, get uh, uh, one thing, and I know that I'm, I know I'm the, you know, and volume I got, I got to take be off. all about the MCs and all of that stuff. Man, y'all was in there dry as hell. Was y'all, you know how sometimes people go to an event, but they really waiting for the battle, the, like for the after party? Like, that's, mm -hmm. that's what right. it seemed like. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, do y'all got somewhere else to be? Damn, crowd, what's up? Like, act like y'all want to be here. Y'all standing behind smack, me mugging. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, what's Niggas going actually on? Niggas actually didn't want to be there. I got to take about a clips back. Clips, though. Yeah. Clips battle, battling clips, it don't even matter no more. As like a up and comer, getting a clips, it don't, it's not powerful no more, and it don't matter. A clips battle is not He's powerful. He's still on wilding out, though. It, it damn near. Come on. Yeah. To me, it don't even matter. If you battle clips, it don't even matter. Like it's just like, oh, you battle clips. It don't. It's not as powerful. You don't as think his celebrity is is what is is what like keep people because he's still gonna be yo. That's Charlie. Like even people that like they know him as Charlie Clips from Wild and Out or MTV or B. That's on TV. Right. Even reruns of that is on TV all the time. So it's true. you don't think that I, that's always gonna, like that's gonna help him. From the outside, like, all right, cool. Like, oh, they see Chef Trez battling clips on YouTube. I'm talking about from us, battle rap community, like, clips don't matter to, like, if you battle clips, it just don't matter no more because he just, he go through the motions. It's like, it's not a hard fought battle for the niggas who's battling him. It just don't really matter like it used to matter. He not trying to win for real. I don't know if it matters still how it used to. Yeah. It used to really matter because clips used to come in there trying to kill niggas. Yeah. Now it's just like, ah, oh, this shit just, he playing. It just don't even matter, man. I don't think Trez was bad, though, right? I don't think Trez was bad. And then I do also think uh, it, it, they probably was both a little caught off guard by the lack of reaction they was kind of getting. Although the volume to me has never necessarily been about reaction. I think when Twerk did the over the body with the hoodie down and you get that big reaction and Calico clapping in the, in the camera and all of that, like that kind of made right. the volume into some a little bit different, in my opinion. But like even the early like the the you know volume one and stuff, you got reactions in there. You know what I'm saying? Now Brothers is wilding, but you got reactions in there. Um, right. You know what I'm saying? I I thought I thought Trez had he he had a he had some lines he had some shit right. I I, I definitely had it. Uh, probably probably one one going into the third. I wasn't mad at clips. Uh, up until that third round. Um. But it, it was it was okay, right? Like it was an okay battle. You didn't get no crazy moments or anything like that. Um, you know, it, it definitely seemed like at a certain point both of them was going through the paces because they wasn't getting what they wanted from the crowd. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, mm -hmm. So I so I get that. Uh, you know the the, the clips clips his approach uh, his approach has changed, right? Like he's he's elder statesman already in the Hall of Fame, and he definitely plays basketball. Like this is basketball, he plays like that, right? I already got a champion. Like I'm already solidified. I'm already that guy. And and to be honest with you, like if you put that into contrast with uh, Trez versus Los Prime, which I think is one of the better best like battles of the year so far that I've seen, right? Um, it just like you know it, it doesn't really help. Trez, in a sense, right? Especially Polo, you saying that you got clips to one. I did see some people that had clips win the battle, but it's not a great battle. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. uh, you know, especially in the last six months or so, has been just giving us nothing but uh, great work. Right? Finished third mm -hmm. on on Champion of the Year. I feel like he's trying to go for a title this year. This didn't help that, right? Like this didn't. Help it didn't. That. No. No. Um, that was, that was tough. Um, now you get the intermission and things like that. And shout out to Nunu for, in black. Cause I feel like they always do a good job on commentary, uh, as well. Um, but, but then you get to chess 
versus Miss Hustle, right? And this is where this is where I got my food, right, Pose? I got my plate. I got my wings, mm -hmm. all flats, right. lemon pepper, huh? I'm with my baby, you know what I'm saying? With my baby, for some reason, she likes watching. Uh, there's two uh, two things she like watching, Paw Patrol, Judge Judy, right? And she doesn't mind battle rap. She doesn't. So I'm watching it with yeah. my baby. You know what I'm saying? Eat my wings. I'm ready. I'm ready. And then here we go. Here mm -hmm. we go. Man. Mm -hmm. Not even, what, eight bars into it. Eight bars into it. Get the burps. Hold up, y'all. I'm, I'm, I, I, hold up. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, no, he's not. Mm -mm. I put the wings down. Pose. I put the wings on. I don't away. know how you ate the burping. I couldn't do it. <laughs> I would have threw up the lemon peppers, my nigga, if I heard that. <laughs> I don't know how you did it, man. But. I couldn't eat. I couldn't. I had to put the food down. Because this was my, this is what I called would, would be, I uh, predicted, battle of the night, right? I was like, this is going to be the battle yeah. of the night. This is going to be the one. You know what I'm saying? Um, And I believe what, Miss, did Miss Hustle go first in this one, right? Like, I think Miss Hustle actually... Uh, kicked off the battle yeah. and stuff, and I and look, and I think Miss Hustle was performer of the night, hands down as well. Wasn't mad at her; she definitely did what she was supposed to do. Had some good lines in there and shit like that. Um, great aggressive Miss Hustle and shit. She's there to do work, you know what I'm saying? I don't think Chess was unprepared. It's just whatever, and I don't want to diagnose him because I ain't no doctor. But you know, I don't know if it's a combination of anxiety. You got a newborn, acid reflux. Man, like it just went there. And JB, I gotta get mad at you. I'm sorry. And you know I love you. Why is that man's mic on during the puke action? Like why? Uh, why? Oh, yeah, that. Yeah. Uh, wow. How many puke? How many times did he throw up? He threw up in a DNA battle. Yep. He threw up in the um saga. Saga. Yep. Calico. Oof. I feel like it's some. I feel like it's like Should. five more than. I, I think he threw up in the easy battle. He threw up in the uh, easy battle. Nah, nah, he was ready for easy. I don't remember that. He fake threw up in the rock. Then he in a burp. Oh, more for for him in the rock <laughs> battle. The <laughs> like, yeah, niggas, I, uh, my fault. <laughs> I could have sworn he was in a throw enough for him in the Tay Rock battle. <sighs> no, no, he. Nah, that was Tayrod that did that. Nah, um, nah, he definitely threw up. He he, I was live on. He threw up in the shotgun shug battle, if I'm not mistaken, because I was on stage for that one. Yeah, man, that nigga just be throwing up, but yeah, it's I don't know at this point, Chess man. Yeah, he he might he might either have to see a doctor or just sit down for a while. Man, the, the thing is yeah. always, uh, but he gonna hurt his stock. Keep battling and doing this though. He gonna really hurt his stock. I think at this point, the 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 whatever the the issues are, the gastric issues are. Is You're known to rock stages, go crazy, have some of the best performances. You know what I mean? Shit like that. It's the stuff that people talk about. You know what I mean? Shape shifter. Okay, but that puking shit is a part of it, and it's notable because when we talk about legacy stuff, right? The big battles, bro. Like these are big battles that you this happened in. Even the battles where he got it back, right? Because make no mistake, this is one thing I say about the battle. Wasn't mad at the second round. Wasn't mad at the third round either. I still think Hustle beat him. I still think if he would have been clean, Hustle would have still got him. I like the second round though. I do. You know what I'm saying? And props to Hustle because I'm gonna be honest, bro. Listen, I'm not an MC. You throw up and all that. And then you come back and you still yelling and stuff to me. I don't. I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm gonna power through there. I can't. You know what I'm saying? I got. I can't do it. I can't. Yeah, my thing is with this is like, like <clears throat> you know, with with battle rap, you don't want to hurt your stock. You know, you just, uh, you know, you you just had it. You know, new family. And, you know, you don't want to hurt the shit that's bringing you in income. You know what I mean? Like, and if you keep doing these type of stuff, it's gonna hurt your value. Yeah. And if you know if that, if that hurt you, if fans don't want to see, if if fans have no faith in chess no more, like that, what is the like? You know what I mean? Like that's just gonna hurt your value. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Unless you all right, don't give a damn. They like fucking chess. 
you know what I mean? He the prince of URL, so. I do think he yeah. has enough to where, like, you know, people remember, like, people remember the performances, right? Like, uh, again, I go back to the Rex battle. Like, some of the battles that we mentioned here are some of, the, some of his better performances despite that, right? But, um, you know, at this point, you're at the latter stage of your career. You're a veteran. You know, for health reasons, go get that checked out. You're a father now. Those types of things only get worse from people who have that, you know, that, that have gone through those issues as well. Um, and I think even early on, we had kind of said, like, man, I hope he gets that checked out because, shit, you approaching 30, right? Like, you like your 30s with those type of things, bro? Shit. Listen, I'm 37, bro. Like, that acid reflux and all that is no joke, sir. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, uh, but, yeah, the battle had potential to be good. You know what I'm saying? Again, second and third, not mad at. I think Hustle beat him, though. All I got nah, hustled all uh, yeah. well, first and first and third for sure, but you know what I mean. I and I again I like Chess's second round. I do, you know what I'm saying. Um, yeah, bro. Hustle was just, saying I, shit. I, I don't know. Hustle was saying shit in this battle, man. She was. She was. You won't withstand this four five. Door it's that physical. delivery. She hustle was. delivery. Wow. Right. Yeah, her delivery. A delivery code. Yeah, yeah. And it's like uh, part of her legacy is being able to battle the top tier men. And it's not a – um. look, there is a difference between the way that men battle Miss Hustle and the way men battle Jazz. I, I just got to say it. I have to. The sample size is there. They both battle men over this time. And I'm saying this through the guise of there's a lot of people. What's the difference, though? I think that – I think that – there's a friendship. There's a clear friendship. Even the guys that have a friendship with Hustle, they don't play with her. I don't feel like. You know what I'm saying? I feel like the men. Nah, for the niggas most be part, fucking up versus Hustle, though. what you say? They don't play with her, but they just fuck up. They'll choke. Nigga, throw up. Yeah. Nigga, nigga choke battling himself. Uh, uh, I think. I think that Jason J. I feel like Jazz got that little sis um, vibe. Like that's a little huh? sis. Like you know what I mean. Like I don't know. Like I, it's it's not the same in, uh, intensity. I think she just be beating niggas. Like she just be walking down niggas. It, it's crazy. It's it's weird because it's like I don't really. I feel like if a man was doing what like Hustle was doing, or even when when um Easy went on a little like win streak, a quote unquote win streak. Mm -hmm. And stuff like that to the people. That everybody was celebrating it. I feel like when was last? What was last? Isn't this like her like fourth battle straight she won? Yeah, Absolutely. yeah. She's on a streak, man. She is on a streak. I, I totally agree with that. Like, I mean, she's and against the men. I mean, damn. At some point, one of you brothers gotta like somebody gotta. Yeah, she her, got. Right? She gotta get into a fight now. I want. I'm, I want to see somebody. Um. I want to see somebody really like try to battle one of them. Like really try. I want to see a nigga try to battle, kill one of them. Like jazz or hustle. I like they, they cause this seemed like you know what I mean when they when they battle niggas. I don't know what it is, man. I don't know if niggas just don't take women serious or they just don't take the preparation serious. But it's just like yeah. I don't know. When was the last good in agenda battle we got? I well, ill will and forty was was a great battle. Oh um, yeah, that was goody. That was a goody. Uh, that was I a thought, goody. See, I didn't think I didn't. I thought K, I I thought K's approach with Jazz. Jazz did not. That was that was uh yeah yeah that K mm, J C J C but J C versus First Lady Flames was fire. J C um, versus Flames was dope. Fiction um, versus Rock. Rock versus Hustle was dope too. Um, you know I like it's. I don't I don't know. I don't know. I think I think there's a, a like this take like certain women you just can't you can't be in there and slack with. Um, who who do y'all think would give hustle that type of that type of smoke? I mean, I, at this point, well, she like I think Fonz. I think Fonz would try to kill hustle. Somebody said Fonz in the comments. Oh, they said it? okay. If yeah, Fonz would try to kill hustle. Mm. Um, Fonz. Yeah, like Fonz. That. Fonz don't be playing with the women. He he's he's cold. Yeah, you got that little Gerald Hitman. Ger uh Hitman. Hitman versus uh, uh Hustles. Uh, uh, that's a box office battle. It is. Hmm. Think that's a yeah, good Hitman. 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 Hitman got a couple cool. potential matchups on the low. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. I, yeah. Hover's Hitman.
Yeah, yeah, that's that's easy. 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 Yeah, that's that's easy. Easy. Nah, I think. Nah, she a fake one. Cause his name easy. So hustle strength. She flipped names really well. Like, she like she's a really good name flipper. So with easy, that's it. Just that like she could really get crazy with that. Yo, uh, a woman with the angles that you could take against easy. Ah, I, I don't know. I'm, I, it's a lot to say to easy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. From a nah, woman's it's... perspective, what Gotti was saying to to easy versus what Hustle could say to him. Shit. Yeah, nah, man. He ain't gonna battle. Yeah. They'll never battle, man. Yeah, that 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 could be different. You know what I'm saying? Um, but. But yeah, I, I think uh, her versus Fonz or her versus Hitman is a good battle. I think the Fonz battle is, is, is a little tougher. Fonz don't be playing. He he doesn't play in general, but he don't be playing with women for sure. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, so, so yeah, who, who else? He, damn. I can see her versus women. Like, not even versus men. I want to see her versus uh, uh, Jazz for sure again. Uh, C3. I got to see her versus C3 for sure. Um. Yeah. yeah, I got. I got to see. It. I got. I got to really see. I got. I got to really see her versus. Like, I want to see some women battle each other too, though. Like, I hope they don't get lost just battling the men. Right. At some point, and I know, I know, you know, I rock with both of them. I do hustle. You know, I, you know, I love you, and I, you're probably gonna get mad at this. At some point, her and Miss Brown might have to spend the. I. It don't gotta be this year. Nah, it's over for that. It's man. over. Nah, that's probably. It's over for that. You wildin'. You know it. Nigga trying to start that shit up all over all again right, with that. Brown again. Man, I that's over. Right. Nah, that's over. And that first battle, that shit was ass. So it ain't even really like it was like it was just too cringy, man. That shit was like that shit was too cringy. I know they regret booking that one. I think. I yeah, think, that battle uh, was weird. Walk Casey, my man said uh, hustle versus Casey. I think Hustle will walk, Casey. I'm sorry. They battled, they battled already. They battled yeah. on a Netflix joint. A word? Did that? That's not nah, it didn't look. drop yet. They said Hustle kind of got crazy on Casey. Oh, okay. On a Netflix yeah. joint. What, what yeah, they that? got. I'm sure. Remember they had the little clip out? They shot something for Netflix. And, uh, you know. They had a clip they... like Hustle standing outside barking on uh, Casey. <laughs> yeah, they battled in the alley in Soho. Right there, um. Nice. They battle right, right where the old Supreme used to be, literally right around the corner. Oh, wow. That's right with it. Exactly where that is. Yeah, they battle right in that little alleyway. Holy cow! Okay, okay. So I don't know when that's going to drop, but from all from the shit, and I think, I think uh, from the recaps of the people that was there, I think all of them said I think Hustle won that. Yeah, this hip hop is real. Thumbnail looks like a loading screen to like a video game. This... <laughs> That's fine. Nah, and that clip, what's the name? Was dying. I hope Casey had some shit in that. But... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, she was dying. That clip, yo, that joke. That clip, I'm like, oh, nah, this nigga. Casey nah. Yeah. Nah, that's a terrible picture. Oh, man. Um. But... So, so, okay. So, Hustle <laughs> did what, uh, you know, she accomplished the mission, I thought. Uh, it wasn't like Chess didn't have nothing, but that first round through the battle of After that, so then you get Sirius Jones and Tay Rock. I wanted, I want y'all perspectives on that battle, right? Jones and Rock. Yeah, Jones and Rock. Um. Hmm. It was what it was. It was. It was. It was. It was cool, man. Uh. It was exactly what I expected it to be. Mm. Um, it was one of the weird battles for Rock where Rock is like too aggressive where it gets odd. Like, why is yeah, Rock so mad? Yeah. yeah. Pussy, like, did they have any prior, like, because I seen the face off, I I thought they was like cordial. Mm-hmm. Like, I was so confused. Like, what the what's up with Rock? I got you know what when, when I saw that face off, I, I actually became more hopeful for the type of battle that we could get because I'm like, okay, it looks like they buried whatever the hatchet was you know what i'm saying and uh and what was the like issue that. like like what was really the problem though i actually don't know i re- i just remember jones calling out he touched him. no and the battle the issue was he when he was rapping you know how when you point your finger he was yeah. like poking them yeah so i think he was like yo man stop poking me 
type shit. Stop, stop touching me. Stop poking. He didn't even say it loud, right? He said. Are you like breaking up, Tom? Oh, I'm, I'm uh -huh. breaking up? Okay. Can you guys hear me now? Am I good? Nigga. Nigga, what the f <laughs> <laughs> all right all right go go ahead go ahead now nah, you good go ahead yeah i finished finish what you saying yeah, my brother saying. oh okay they said i gotta hit best buy on the wake up okay i'll get a i'll get a <laughs> new uh i'll get a new microphone man salute um but nah but, these yetis only thing about the yetis after a while them joints be giving like a lot of feedback and shit oh That's, i okay. got i got yeah i got a yeti that happens to my yeti too Okay. Okay. I Paul, got you. Yeti sound crazy. That My does. Yeti. That does sound crazy. Hey, Paul. Yo, <laughs> that was crazy. That happens to my Yeti. Goes crazy. <laughs> yo, that go crazy. Yo, um, yo, what you saying though? Yeah. No, I. Yo, you threw me off with that one. I didn't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but no, I was I was hoping for Whoa, the battle after said that up, Mike but, but Rock, Rock actually Rock actually he said he said <laughs> quietly, like, yo, he, he didn't even really interrupt the round, right? Now, um, you know, he's like, yo, stop, stop, uh, stop touching me. You know what I'm saying? Which I always felt like uh as aggressive as Tay Rock is, he's not like a in your like he get he'll get in your face but he's but not do you like feel a, like serious Jones was like doing like the do you feel like the touching was excessive or just no, like just little battle rap touches like i don't i don't think it i don't think it was that serious me personally right i'm not you know obviously i'm i'm not tay rock but you know what i'm saying in the moment maybe rock started to get upset there's a theory out there that rock started getting upset because Jones was actually saying shit to him. I I'm gonna be honest. There is a there's a there's several moments in that battle where I'm like, yo, Jones actually saying shit. I don't I don't care about what the crowd is doing because it was dry, you know what I'm saying, on all that stuff. But Jones is actually rapping, in my opinion, in this battle. I wanted to say that too. He was actually rapping. Now he steps on the lines by asking for crowd reaction. Jones, please, for the love of don't, God. Yeah, don't do that. Stop. Yeah. Asking these Definitely people. Definitely not in a small room. <laughs> Especially not in that room. It's, yeah, like, like, why are you doing that, Jones? We're watching. Keep rapping, bro. You have to accept at some point. There's something about you. I don't know what it is, but there's something about you where fans got you in a heel form. They do. And he's Jones a very, never yeah, fully he's got accepted an unlikable. It. I think the people just have him very unlikable. Like. He's a very unlikable guy. I don't know what it is, but he's just unlikable. What did Jones do to to, to get that? I don't. That's what I was trying to figure out last show. Like, what did this young man do? Seriously, because Jones used to be. Remember back in the back in the heyday, Jones used to be like the funny, like you know, connect with the crowd, like almost like how how Clips was at, at one point, where it's like you know, even now, where it's like, ah oh, man, that's Jones. You know what I'm saying? Like, and they just they laughing, they connecting with him and stuff like that. It just seems like you know he got to. You a know point. what it was. You know what the turn was. He yeah. battled clips. He was still kind of. He still he was cool. Mm -hmm. Handle clips after that battle. We still kind of <laughs> fucked with him. Yeah. He battled Justin Matthew Hoffa. Math went upside his head. Then we still was like we kind of felt bad for him. Like damn, like mm -hmm. it was the way that he handled the math situation. Both of them niggas low key. Sure. That kind of like, ah, uh, y'all niggas, I don't. Like, mm -hmm. it was that whole him and math shit that was like a probably seven year thing of them niggas going back and forth, interviews. Right. The way them, them brothers handled it, we in a fight in the club and da -da -da. it just was all cringy. Then the <laughs> nigga, then a disaster thing. Remember, disaster poked him in the chest. Right. The head ice thing. It just was all of that. It was like, oh, this, he handled things kind of, oh, it just, yeah. it was just the whole bunch. But yeah, why are we? Why are we uh, uh, he was still winning battles. Aside from that, he was still beating people. He was, he was, and he was still, and he still has some moments and stuff like that. But, but like as a culture, right? And I'm, I'm asking people in here as well as in the Discord, why are we still holding that that situation against? Jones, that's damn near a decade ago, right? Math is on the BET red carpets now. You know what I mean? Everybody is older. You know what I'm saying? Damn near 40 or in their 40s, right? 
Like, why are we still doing that? Why? At some point, you know what I'm saying? We probably have to, but it took Jones so long to get over that shit that I guess that's why. But damn, to me, he was rapping in this battle, bro. He was rapping with Rock. And I got Rock with the battle, but not by a huge margin. I don't. I don't, bro. I don't. Yeah, the problem with Jones is Jones will say some shit, but then, like I said, he dribbles too much, man. Like, he want niggas that a dribble past the nigga, get the open layup, and then dribble under the basket and start over again. Like, <laughs> he, yeah. he, he just one of those. So, he, like, he got to learn to cut that out. Like, once he dribble, once he get past his defender and got the basket, take the basket, man. Like, right. don't reset and then try to take the, like, come on, man. Yeah. That's his only, that's his problem right there. He need to trim the fat on a lot of his shit. It's like, it's like that dude in 2002 in the M, during the M1 era, they get the crossover, oh, right? Yeah. They got the, they got the open layup and then they just go back to try to recross it over. Yeah, let yeah. me try it really. Yeah. 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 Like, like, bro, you already, you could have, you could have scored the basketball. What are you doing? But yeah, and I, and I hate that addressing the crowd and all that other stuff. Um, does Rock seem? And then he gotta like mm -hmm. his rollout. He gotta switch his rollout out. Like Sirius Jones, the legend Sirius Jones. We know, like he was kind of known as like being like the funny, smooth nigga right. that you know had the jokes, had the bars. Mm -hmm. But now he kind of like morphed into like kind of like I don't know. He like a little more street. A little when he got the grill, he just became to the street nigga for him. No, it this that's another okay. This is what it is, Tom. I found I know why we don't like him. Okay. Okay. Handle clips. He had the clips battle. Handle clips. He's a funny guy. Right. I still liked him. Funny. Da -da -da. Ooh, incident. Got punch. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. We still kind of fucked. All right, cool. He got punched by what's the name? Cool. Mm-hmm. He handled that nasty. Then this is where it turned. <laughs> he had a pimp gimmick. Yeah. Remember he had a pimp gimmick. I, I actually think that's his best archetype, but go ahead. Yep. Mm -mm. That's one of his better archetypes. He had a pimp gimmick. Yeah. Went to jail for something. We don't know. I have no clue. Came home with a street nigga gimmick with silver teeth. <laughs> and mad tats. <laughs> And tattoos. I'm like, yo, damn, this nigga Jones. Like, he can, that's. I think that's kind of what it is. It just he switched his archetype in like yeah. year twenty, and it's like that's like if Le, like not comparing him to LeBron, but like if LeBron come out there in his last year and just completely just switch and just become a the greatest three point shoot or whatever, just switch his archetype up. It's like you're not expecting that. Like you want the the classic serious Jones, the, or even the pimp serious Jones. I, but well, I understand why he switched that beeping. image for That's obvious reasons. Obvious reasons, huh? yeah. The no. Shit beeping when he battled um, oh, Swamp. That's Swamp. Him. In the tournament, I think it was Pimp Serious Jones, right? When yeah, was no, the Jones. best serious is when he battled Rum Nitty. Rum Nitty, uh, JC as well. I think that's Pimp era, like that's in a Pimp quiet Jones. run win. Yeah, that was the best Jones. That he needed to get back to that. That was him. I, it remember he had the little argument with uh with Surf when he was, was like I know niggas from your hood crit. Remember he had like a beef with Surf. Yeah, that's when he turned into another archetype of street nigga out of nowhere. Yeah, he went from the pimp to like another nigga. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And like I said, maybe not not saying that like he putting up a, like because this could that could truly just been that him be the him. whole time. Like, but like really I'm just saying him, in yeah. battle rap format, it's this shit like wrestling. This shit like. You you know what I mean? You create your persona and how people view you. So it's like once people view you a certain way, you switch that up out of nowhere. It's like we got to get used to it a little bit. And it's, it's taking a little longer than usual to get used to. Only person that's been able to seamlessly. I don't even want to say seamlessly because he got some bricks of uh, archetypes. Like now nah, this shit was uh, cocaine. Vizi was terrible. That era of verb was horrible. Yeah, nah, but nobody. Verb has yeah. been able to switch gimmicks and. Trying to get him off, except VZ. The VZ nigga was the VZ verse was terrible, but the rest of the verse was kind of fire. Ain't he VZ now? Uh, I think this is Kevin Samuels' verse. Yeah, right. <laughs> Bur, we don't want no smoke, bro. <laughs> yeah, don't yeah want I don't no even want problems. With you. I'm just, I'm we just, don't want no. <laughs> yeah, no, we're not trying to go at you. I think this is the Kevin Samuels one though. 
podcast, pod verb, podcast yeah. verb. Yeah, content. Okay, content okay. Creator content content creative verb. verb. I like that. Content yeah, creative like that. verb. Yeah, content. Right. Yeah. So okay, so okay, I see what you said. Nah, yeah, because even with goods, because goods tried to switch his archetype and go into like real estate goods, and yeah, niggas really. hated that goods. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> real estate goods niggas hate it. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Real estate goods used to get me fucking mad. That's what he battled uh Ichi. Yeah. Yeah, real estate nah, goods. Nah, he got crazy. Real estate goods got crazy with Geechee, though. I ain't yeah, gonna lie. I like, I like real estate goods, goods battle easy too. That's he real fake estate did. Good. I don't you know, I told but he was getting on it, he was getting it off in that battle. But I told him, yo, if you nigga, if he would have showed up with the with the corner lord goods, oh yeah, yeah nah, I would have got dark for easy. I like corner but, lord goods. Goods, goods, but it funny. but it but it worked against Geechee though. He's like, it. like, I had to change what up you what brought. I was he doing. Wasn't so even I like do these other shit. Like I I liked I like that. I like that. Yeah, nah, he was that archetype of goods. I ain't gonna lie. He was definitely real estate he was, goods. Real estate just, goods. He wasn't even like he was just saying things like, "Nigga, I just bought an apartment, nigga." <laughs> what you bought, nigga? He just be saying shit, nigga. Two houses, nigga. nigga paid for both of eight hundred, nigga. I don't even talk to crumbs. Like what? <laughs> yeah, that nigga, was yeah like, that nigga wasn't even really rapping with niggas. Yeah, <laughs> that nigga. <my> <laughs> But I think he's back to the corner lore when he battled Calico. He back just talking that street shit. <laughs> nah, nah, slick. Yeah, that's corn. That's corner lore. Slick talk. Yeah. But nah, goods back in his form. Uh, what other? Who else had uh, uh, archetypes that? <laughs> <laughs> nah, real estate goods is a laugh. Nah, real estate goods. That's a real it. archetype. Bro. <laughs> And nigga was really like, yo, my credit score ain't hundred, nigga. I just bought ten vending machines. Right. Like, oh, uh, I got Calico. Got different bags. He got wizard. young Calico. That's the way. That's the kid. Right. Like he been the wizard for mad long. Nah, he, he you got BMF Calico. He's that's the one that died deluxe. That's the yeah. BMF Calico was most frightening. Yeah, that, that's BMF Calico. Probably one of my favorite Calicos. Yeah, that's my favorite Calico that's for sure. The one that and then rock. you got the. The and K no, and K the the, he's he's forming he's becoming the wizard the introduction of wizard is briz because that's when he first starts saying this shit like yeah i'm the wizard right oh nah wizard cow battled uh ill will it will yeah battle ill will too yeah that's what yeah, that's when he finally but he was a little wizard, bit of both like. in that because he was talking that bmf shit in that shit too talking that shit yeah too. Yes, he, he that's was. that was he was that was like when a nigga just Yo, the nigga just show up in perfect form. Like right. nigga just nigga nigga just green from from red. Yeah, yeah, Calico Ill Will. That's one of my favorite battles. Hell yeah, he was talking. Man, he was talking that shit to Will. Yes, he was. Yes. He um, was. who who else, man? Who else? You know who whose up? image has really pretty much been consistent. He just added a, like a, a Rolex to it. Is fucking Hitman. I'm crying. <laughs> Yo, Hitman, Hitman has been the same Hitman his whole career. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, I, he think, just... I think uh I think while and out Hitman that came back to battle, you know, he had the three battles where he battled Suge and K Shine and uh and Tay Rock, no remix Hitman, like I'm on TV Hitman. He was he was kicking ass. He was. Yeah. But yeah. it was no remixes, no no gimmicks. No, no, you know what I mean? He was in there to rap, bro. Yeah, nah, big yeah. K. Big K when Big K switched his archetype up. Remember he turned into um like the Jim Carrey type archetype when what he was just talking. What? Big K had a period of time where he was cracking wild jokes. Like I don't he was Big like K? on the, Big K when he was on King of the Dot. He had a period of time where he was just cracking wild jokes. Like he he let go of the punches and was just cracking jokes. And then when he got back to RBE, that's when Street Big K came back. And he been that archetype since. We got back on that after that Adi Boom battle. Well, well, I think I think that uh, that's totally backfired in the uh, the O Red battle, right? When he told that whole uh, story about O Red eating a tuna fish sandwich and having yeah, that that that, that's when he let that. That's when niggas had enough. Remember when niggas like yo, Big K joke too much. He joking too much. Like yeah, he got out that pocket. He ain't tell a joke since. Yeah. <laughs> nigga, that nigga yeah. ain't telling jokes. Since. He not joking. But I think I uh, think Shine got. I think Shine has a um. Nah, that's up Starburst. Shine like, Starburst zip no zip. Uh, it's zip him up. Shine then star zip him up. Shine is the nigga who can hardly breathe. Right. DNA oh, dummy. I, I need attention. Man, he can barely breathe. <laughs> rapping. 
Like, 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 yo, Sean going crazy. crazy. Like, Sean got somewhere to go after this, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's like, bro, relax, Sean. Then you got Starburst, Sean. Dip it, dip it, dip it in the air, nigga. Starburst. Did I get a gift for the set, nigga? Starburst. That's that's like the second generation, Sean. Starburst is like the ultra form for him. Like, yeah. that's and his that final form. Is- Still unbeatable. That yeah. shit is and it's and it's hard to duplicate. That's what's even crazy. Like niggas, niggas cannot duplicate it. That Starburst flow is niggas is dying. It's the combination of how erratic it was. The pen was the pen was moving and K Shine in his bag A one perform. Everything is acted out. Like you know what I'm saying? Against oh Verb, yeah, nah, A well in the You know what that I'm saying? Shine, that nigga, that one. Whew, yeah. That's Starburst can't shine with undefeatable. That nigga, right? That that card right there. Right. <laughs> um, they said, uh, who else? Who else? I'm trying to think who anybody else that had like a bit of archetypes. Who? Um. Uh, let me think. It's, it's they a said Gichi. Gichi. Oh no, nah. Gichi, yeah. Gichi nah, definitely got. Archetypes. Archetypes. Oh yeah, nah. Super Crip Gichi was different. He got the like underdog, just a regular. When he got the regular fade Geechee when he was coming up, right? He just did Crip Compton, yeah. But then he started getting all his powers Afro Geechee, Braids. He started just turning into different versions, like every all the power. He just nah, Afro powering. Geechee was dumb serious. He was that was yeah, Black Afro. Panther Geechee, yeah. yeah. When he got the braids, he became like, like the ain't like see, because now he's in this angle for him of like. nigga. Yeah. You got some dirt in your jacket, bro. You don't want to run into him because Cause Braves Geechee battle Lux easy. Rock. Braves Geechee powerful. Yeah. Nah, bro, that was that was like the regular low cut Geechee battle rock. Okay. But when he first started, it was uh eyes closed. Like he had his eyes closed and shit. Oh yeah, eyes closed. <laughs> yeah. yeah, nah, eyes closed Funny Geechee is different. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like when he was battling Saint and them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. T Y. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They said uh, DNA. DNA has um, archetypes. Um, nah, he did. NWX yeah, version. He, DNA had a real estate version too. Mm. He, had, he, had a, he real, had a little. He had a little point in time when he was on his um, his own. Why, brother? Why you talk about guns so much, brother? When he was in that yeah, bag. Oh yeah, he did boy, trying to do that bag. Like no first, gun bar DNA. No gun bar. Stop the violence DNA. He was definitely. He, yeah. Get money, he, uh, drink water, DNA. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the the DNA where he when NWX first formed that was a difficult, like that was difficult, man, because he yeah. started getting the flow together and shit, and like he was really, you know, what I'm saying like it was more of a like a rapping like type of style with his shit, because before it kind of was like four and eight bar setups and shit. And then he started kind of styling a little bit, like when he first, when him and K Shine kind of first like linked up for the NWX shit. You know what I'm saying? Where he battled Danger Zone and shit like that. Like he was kind of wilding in that little era. Like he was mm-hmm. fucking. Fuck. Um, another guy who got a couple multiple, who's just like a walking billboard now, and all you rap about is this company is a uh, T Top. I got hate maker on speed dial. He's all just he don't even do nothing but hate maker promo. And hey, make it selling out of stores right now. Like, he don't even. <laughs> <laughs> I like, I like the uh, listen, the, the hand, hand to hand corner store, uh, motherfucking. Yeah, that's the best one. Getting the stove ready, like that T top. That's my yeah. bro. UFF T top. UFF T top. That nigga's a god. That motherfucker's a demon. You hear me? This haymaker T top. I don't, I don't know. Come on. Oh, man. then you got T top, T E A top. Shout out to Q Davis. <laughs> Then you then you try to go get money. Then you got a divorce. Then your baby mama got shot. And that wasn't caught. Then you got shot. Like, come on, man. Stop. stop yeah, he was, then your baby shot. mama got shot. <laughs> right. He's like just a round full of all of the misfortune that your life has experienced. Yeah, that's your life about like, damn, nigga. And they call CPS on your kids. Like, what? Like, T Top, leave me alone. How Yo, you? for real. Leave me the fuck alone, man. What's going on? All right. Um, nah, that's funny. But yeah, let's uh. But what's the All next right, battle so, though? So, so yeah. So anyway, 
we were uh, we were on uh, Series Jones and Tay Rock, which I do think is a uh, close battle. I'm not even mad if people got Jones winning. By the way, I'm not. Mm -mm. Not mad at that. Uh, yo, I wanted to ask this: Do y'all think? Uh, how, how do y'all feel about Rock using the throwaways in the actual work? Because uh, people call him out for recycling. What do y'all? Oh, think? he recycled. Yes, man, that battle recycled his own shit. I guess some of the throwaways made their way. I into... think the battle was so bad. Oh, all the respect was the ones that he said that Jones yeah. in the little videos. Oh, I remember I said that last show. I hate when they do that. Hate it. Hate it. I hate throwaways. If yeah. you're gonna make a song or something, okay, cool. But like just some throwaway rounds, no. Mm -mm. Absolutely not. No. No. Why? Why do that? Why? Yeah, why? I don't even get the uh, I, like because it's like damn. What if the throwaways are better than the actual bars? You know what I'm saying? Uh, but then to use those again, I I don't know. I don't know about that rock. I don't like that. I don't like that because here here begins the narrative of Tay Rock is battling too much. He has a battle this weekend as well against Prep. And you say what you want about Prep, but he is the type of battle. That's the type of battle where you go in there on some bullshit. Now Tay Rock's not known for doing this. But if he's battling too much, the fatigue will show in that battle. It All will, right. If he if he's fatigued, it will show in his upcoming battle for sure. And you still got a ward on the calendar. You still got a whole slew of of battles on the calendar. Prem and all these guys, Bill Collector. Like you still got a bunch of battles on the docket. So yeah, yeah, um, yeah. yeah nah, no bullshit. Um, so, yeah, what's the next one? Uh, the next battle would then be, uh, T-Top versus New Jersey Twerk, right? Now, yeah. I was already wary about this battle because they're friends. They're homies. Like, they're really friends. Like, like go to your, uh, your daughter's christening type of friends, right? Family barbecue type of friends. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if anything happens to T-Top, I'm, I'm... I'm beating one of y'all to fuck up type of friends, right? This is literally a quote from New Jersey Twerk, by the way. But yes, right. those those are those they're their type of friends, right? Which you know we've seen friends battle before and still be able to deliver and things like that. Now, um, I guess right, and the people have made mention of this that there was uh, there was some extenuating circumstances outside of battle rap that may have occurred. That maybe threw off the energy for the battle. Now, for all intents and purposes, I did not know about these things as I was watching the battle. Man, New Jersey twerk, man. That was tough to watch, bro. I'm going to be honest. That was tough to watch. Yeah, the, first man. Round, the first round, man. Because once twerk starts to repeat the setup multiple times, like, I mean, more than twice, that's when I get worried. Every time, right? He has a tell when it's about to go that way. He's repeating the setups multiple times and stuff. It's clear that he wrote some shit, but maybe the memorization isn't there. You could, like, with Twerk, you could tell when he's not really, you know what I'm saying? Like, there. The first round was that. That was tough to watch. Um, T-Top wasn't bad, though. I, I know we had jokes about T-Top. Uh, wasn't mad at T-Top's uh, three rounds, to, to me, right? Nothing crazy, crazy. He didn't go, it wasn't spill the T-Top. It wasn't that, you know what I'm saying? But... <laughs> Uh, he still has some shit. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was, it was okay. Uh, New Jersey Torque's second round is dope in the battle, right? This is when he like, yeah. like and you could tell when Torque is like, uh, he always has an apology for Smack. My bad, Smack. You know what I'm saying? Like he's doing well in this second. I'm like, okay, cool. You know, right. but um, I didn't expect much from the battle, so I can't say I was let down in terms of what I got from the battle because I didn't have high expectations for it. Uh, to be honest with you, just given the fact that they're friends, you know what I'm saying? It's nothing to prove there. That's the other, this is the overarching theme of volume. In my opinion, this is my opinion, volume has to be a card where there's either grudge matches or something to prove, right? Like uh, New Jersey Turk JC. This is at the time JC's trying to prove that he can write with the elite of the elite. Danny Myers, uh, motherfucking uh, uh, K Shine, right? Hey, there was there was rivalry there, you know what I'm saying? Briz O Red, like yo, can Briz actually just write some shit that's comparable to what O Red could write in that small room? You know what I mean? Solomon Nitty, everyone counted Solomon out. Nitty's one of them. Okay, cool. Contrasting styles and shit like that. 
that's what the volume is about to me. This homeboy shit, the oh we cool, let's just have a battle, that type of thing, clips, trez, uh, even hustle chess, right? Even though they, you know, chess had his little issues, he was still prepared, but they're right. clearly friends, right? They're they they're they're cool. So it's not um that that's not what the volume is about, in my opinion. That that's just me, you know? So um All right. Yeah, that that that's that's kind of the overall theme of that, and I and I hate that because it my and again in my predictions I thought that this was gonna be damn like this is gonna be one of the cars that surprises people with how how much quality work we get, and it was not that, just just overall you know, so yeah, uh, now, the car was was uh it's actually terrible, um, oof. yeah, yeah it, was, it was actually bad. I'm gonna be real. Man, that was tough to watch. It was. My nigga smack. I don't know what you gotta do to these niggas to make them wanna take this shit more serious, but I don't it was actually I don't horrible. Blame, like what what the, the smack doesn't write rhymes, he's giving y'all the venue. Oh, hold on. Let's get to <laughs> we got we cannot skip over uh Mr. Ocho Cinco, Dicky Suit, uh Shades on, right? Laid out. Nah, Ocho is saying shit. <laughs> when you Laid out start from the review. Talk about my co-host. He said some of the best shit to these niggas. <laughs> For real, it Laid looked like out. he was the only nigga that showed up the rat. Yeah, Ocho got more reaction in his battle than <laughs> most of y'all. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. Niggas was getting no reaction. <laughs> DNA on the gun, like that nigga. <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie though, DNA had DNA was kind of like his, they, I'm like yo, Clips, you and DNA is kind of like doing better than Clips. Did you just battle bro, Trez, and you actually got more energy for this than I, and I get it right because this is a this is a type of battle where you know they did drop this on the channel, right? It does have a lot of views, and it's one of them crossover. Oh, they put this on the channel. All that. Let me see. I, I get what? It, but it, oh, I, I didn't know they put this battle on the channel. What yeah. battle? It's out. Ocho Cinco. Uh, oh yeah, joining one hundred and four k sunlight. Yeah, they 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 put that shit out. You know they was gonna put that out. Come on now. You have to. Oh, and uh, let me address something too. I seen a lot of y'all battle rap purists, right? And I am one of those. But sometimes I had to call out the shits. Oh, what are you doing, Ocho Cinco? Nigga, of course I'm gonna have Ocho Cinco if he wants to battle. What? Uh, uh, Nightcap with Shannon Sharp that got a million views and uh -huh. millions of subscribers and uh, to a totally different audience. You just had Loaded Lux up there. He loves the culture, clearly. Hell yeah, I'm going to have him battle. I seen somebody say, why he have to do a PG? Shut up. Shut up. Niggas really said that. Yeah, like, like people hate there. you. Shut up. I hate that kind of guy. Like, shut, shut up. This ain't about none of this that's going on. You know what I mean? This for a broader audience, and there's some people that are gonna watch that and be like, "Oh, you still do battle rap? Okay." Like that, you can't underestimate the amount of casual fans who aren't in the loop that just watch Shannon Sharp and Ocho Cinco talk about you know stuff, sports, you know, on a nightcap show. That just like, "Oh, he actually did a battle. Okay, cool. What else is on the channel, or what other you know situations? That's actually you you as much you probably gonna hate this. It's actually good for battle rap. It is, it is." It helps the sport grow. Just, you get casual fans, and then they realize, like, damn, like, nah, people actually be rapping. So I'll be, you know, this is a battle that actually got me into it because, you know what I'm saying, I was a fan of Ocho, so, okay, he did a battle. So now I'm on the channel, and I get to see other shit that's taking place. So we know what that was, man. Cut it out. Cut it the fuck out. It wasn't, yeah, it wasn't that matter. It ain't like, it wasn't that long. It was, it was quick. Like, it wasn't, come on, man. Yeah, nah, that. Wait, niggas was mad at that? Yeah, that, well, initially. Mag just announced the budget is cut. Why y'all thinking Ocho Cinco is on probably one of the hottest podcasts in the world right now? Right. Why would he not, why would they not plug that like that? Promotion, a little promotion, man. Ocho. Right. Uh, I, I just I just feel like I feel Yo, like this nigga know. Kyrie caught a, ooh. Nah, Ramadan, read different. Yeah. Yeah, Kyrie been wilding. That left-handed hook shot buzzer beater is. Nah, he just caught a oop. Work. He caught a oop a little bit. That under the but, stomach, but, empty. Like. Yeah, yeah. This Ramadan Kyrie. 
Ramadan Kyrie is a different guy. You got mask up Kyrie. You got jersey out Kyrie on Cleveland. Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, nah, the Nets is a terrible organization, man. We, 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 ruin, well, not we, that ain't we, but they ruined that joint. Ain't it in Brooklyn? That's we. Yes, it nah, is. that's a New Jersey team. You live right down the street from that stadium, bro. Don't do that. That ain't my team. Yo, I can't even tell you who on the Brooklyn Nets. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> I don't look at nothing greater than them niggas. Imagine being a diehard Brooklyn Nets fan. Holy I don't even. I would. I don't know how that is. <laughs> now I can understand when they had Kyrie, James Harden, Kevin Durant. Like that's a little different. But that team nah. seemed manufactured as hell, bro. I ain't gonna lie. No, you know what it is. That's it's just crazy, that though. they have a lot of like, like Russian and like they. I think the owner is Russian and like. Yeah. I don't think he's that experienced with dealing with like like how to treat Black American athletes. I don't think he. Like, even during Ramadan, like, they didn't, like, Kyrie, they got pictures of Kyrie eating bananas on the side of the court. Nigga, the Mavericks got personal chefs following him around right. that only, uh, their job is to only feed him as soon as he can eat. Like, yep. personal chefs, whatever he wants. So, like, they know how to treat, like, this nigga don't know how to treat nobody good. Like, he ain't know how to treat Kevin Durant good, nobody good. So Shout out to Mark Cuban. Yeah, there is a, like... People love playing for the – the players like playing for the Mavericks because they do – Nah, he know how to treat – Yeah, do. nah, he, he treat niggas – he treat niggas. Uh, he definitely – Russian dude is like, bring me Kari and bring He's me – He's like, Kari, what is Ramadan? Bring me like, Kevin Durant. Like, he wasn't thinking about nothing, just, I got the money. Like, <laughs> fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, no, man. Come on. Come on. Yeah, nah, they, they – I ain't going to lie, though. Niggas would have been powerful if Cotton, even the Bucks, all the niggas on the Bucks admitted this. That's how I know I would. If Kyrie ain't get injured and that Kevin Durant shit, niggas would have went. That would have been the next ring that year. Yeah, easy. Well, Cause Durant dumb niggas. Was, uh, one shot away Kyrie, but, from one of the greatest shots ever. <laughs> but, that, Phoenix. but yeah, but back to volume. Yeah. <laughs> um, nah, this overall wasn't really a good representation of the. Uh, you all right, man. You all right. Got to get back to uh good matchmaking. I think like y'all doing matchups that nobody's asking for, and I think that's that's what becomes a problem because they damn they're running out of battles. Whoa. Yeah, but shit, if you're gonna run out of battles, at least do the battles that the people is asking for. Let the people think all the, for all you. The ones that all the ones that niggas asking for, these niggas overcharging for. Them. Yeah, but nah, what that's not too easy versus like, right. Like for example, rookies versus vets. I mean, uh, rookies versus sophomore. The promo on that was crazy. A lot of people was asking for that. They didn't. They didn't do a live on that, and that's what everybody was asking for. Everybody's asking for a live on that. That would have helped. A, you know what I mean? That that eyes on that would have helped a lot of people. Hey, the comment weekend. marketing is actually horrible. You said what? <laughs> the the way that the way that URL up, uh, market up and comers is actually fucking terrible. Nah, it, it's, it's beyond terrible. Uh, it's I just think if they, if they would have added a live to, to rookies versus sophomores or the final exam, I think that would have helped out a lot. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, they gotta add a live to that. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you ain't got, like, if you don't got the money to do the super matchups, I don't even think people ask for super match because I don't really see, I see people asking for like, yo, when we gonna get adverse hollow or, or when we gonna get, uh, uh, this person, units versus this person. Like, I don't really see a lot of super matchup requests no more. I think people kind of over them shits too. I don't either. I think I think fans now are more obsessed with good matchmaking and good quality matchups, right? No matter, like the names still matter, right? Names are the names. But I think yeah. that it had you to, to go back, right, and play, you know, uh, what, Thursday morning quarterback or Thursday night quarterback with this whole thing, you know, I think that maybe it was an opportunity to take a chance on certain matchups because you do got your workhorses still, right? Fonz is reliable. Sick is reliable. Shout out to DNA. I mean, goddamn, come back. You reliable. Uh, Danny Myers is reliable. You know what I'm saying? Um, shit, it, when Easy was there, when K-Shine was there, they were reliable, bro. You know what I'm saying? And for to, to be kind of you know under scrutiny as much as URL was, Maybe this is a time where you take that chance and you plug in those reliable people against some of your new stars and see what happens. Now, the fans are going to be the fans, right? I get it. And Pose, you one of them people that looks at the flyer and says, eh, this don't really got that, whatever. And that's cool. But yeah. I do think 
you you get Eunice and Saflair and these guys that we we you know what I mean the up and comers that we do fuck with the people that we do fuck with or whatever and you take that chance because no matter what you say you cannot convince me that the rookies or the sophomores or the 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 mid tier and I mean that is no disrespect the Fonz the six the the Jerry West so on and so forth I think they would have went crazy in that volume right and and mm-hmm. that that's not to say that everybody stunk it up. But I, I, I even think if you would have gave Trez a different matchup in the volume, you do you do Trez versus Eunice in that volume. That's a different. It's just a different uh, uh, situation. You you need to reward the or at least spotlight the people that's more on the side of the hunger. You need the hunger. You need that's the good matchmaking. You have mm-hmm. to go back to that, man. That's what I. This think. we all need to do, man. And. I'm gonna give y'all this business plan. This is what the fuck y'all niggas need to do. <laughs> y'all gonna take a y'all gonna take a little hit, a couple yeah. dollars. Mm-hmm. You niggas need to do a free tournament on this new shit y'all did. Matter of fact, buy them should have been free. Oh, but y'all niggas need to do a free tournament. We need tournament for these new niggas. I guarantee we watch it free. Keep promoting all this shit free. We finna have all the new niggas. We doing the tournament. Do it exactly how y'all did uh, UFF. Free on the URL site. Right. You're going to get some clicks. You're going to tune in. We're going to get it right. Oh, shit. This shit fired. But it got to be free. We had this shit got to be free in the beginning. Take my man kids slate off punishment. Let's get to that. Like, it's not that he on punishment. I just think that shit probably finally, like, with the. Yeah, that like, shit the probably, free, yeah. It, it caught up. Bro, but I... I think volume should have been free, though. I think they first thing should have been free, man. Personally, you think so? Yeah, that just take the hit. For like what we for the product that we got. I'd rather them. I think they should just took the hit on the first thing. Like we're gonna do this first one free. Like okay, mm-hmm. so we can just see how this shit works. Beasley just thoroughly explained we're doing this free. We want to see how this works. That would have got everybody excited. Like true. I do think an ultimate madness is 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 necessary though. This be this be a great time to set that up. I'm gonna be honest. Incorporate yeah, new or, guys, or yeah. or they can actually just try to give the matchups people want to see. Like, uh, like if y'all about to do a card, right? Y'all mm-hmm. know right now, Fawns and Miss Hustle's probably been going back and forth. Um, mm-hmm. I don't really see. Ah, damn, man, really been a lot of back and forth. But I'm just using them as an example. Yeah. Like y'all see, Fawns and Miss Hustle going back and forth nonstop. Right. Please don't mm-hmm. book. Don't show up in this randomly book Fawns versus versus uh uh Eunice or uh, not no offense to you but anybody like that's not in the like they're already going back and forth. Why, oh, you're already known for doing that. They don't they'll book show- the, like the match we want. They'll book like hold up Fawns going back and forth for T top. Mm-hmm. Fuck, we finna walk in Fawns versus Clean. Like I don't know. Yeah, that's, it's this like, yeah, it's like what? Because right, then, because that- then, what do you do with that? Right? Like uh, for instance, right? Wu Sa Jack Boy, they both drop tracks against each other. Right? That got a lot of traction on Twitter. I seen yeah. it on Reddit. Everybody was talking about how they was going back and forth. Like we got to get to the point where we reward the people that got the storylines, bro. We have to do that. We have to not for nothing, but because we know that there's there's bragging rights behind it. There's something to prove behind it. You know what I mean? We have to get back to that because we said it, we said this at the top of the year. Storylines is missing from battle rap, and what better way to kill a storyline than to have the two guys who were. Who were, you know, what I'm saying, actually had the, the the traction and the tension and the talking and all of that. Have them on the same goddamn card against different opponents. You, you it's like you got to reward the storyline. You got to re- reward the promo if we're gonna get back to the basics that got us to the point, right? Because that's what made the old era great. It's like you get two people, they going back and forth, they talking shit, locking the battle. Uh, K yeah. Shine Verb, prime example. You know what I'm saying? They talking shit to each other in the crib. Let's go to it. You know what I mean? Even the trailer is better, right? Right. When you get to remind us what was talked about, what happened. All right, this person said that. This person dropped this, this. You know what I'm saying? They went crazy. You know what I'm saying? They got the spaces, clips, and you know what I mean? They they got the this ammo. You know what I'm saying? Okay, this is why they're battling. We got to get back to that. Yes, we do. We do. 
I, and, right. and so maybe this is a wake up call to get, get to to get back to that, and then to again incorporate the new guys, man. How else are they going to get there? And I know there are a lot of people who aren't paying attention to the app, but man, you cannot tell me that some of them new dudes, uh, a lot of them do do new dudes are super fucking talented, in my opinion, in my opinion. And you gotta you gotta see sink or swim type of shit with the with the lights on. What's up? That's how the new stars are created. And this motherfucker, right? We didn't we didn't mm-hmm. know who was gonna be them guys until they got on that stage and they did what they did. Shit, if you if you you know, shit with the, the way things are currently working, I mean, you know, you, you got Calico versus Matt, for instance, man. Now in this new era, you don't even we gotta take the chance, right? We gotta we gotta get there. So I that that's what I think it was, right? That, that's 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 what I think the the wake up call, I guess, could be. As a result of what just happened. And again, I'm not blaming this solely. The matchmaking part, okay. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, the MC's got to execute. You have to. And you got to look like you give a damn. Come on, man. Like the bag left and y'all don't give a damn. You know what I'm saying? The, when the bag was here, like what Poe said, when the white guys with the headsets and all that, yeah, all right, then you just be here and Jay Black be here at 12 o'clock and all that. Y'all seem, at least for the most part, okay, cool. Y'all coming, you're coming to work. Yeah. Don't, don't, you know what I mean? We don't, we don't need that right now. Cause now the culture, everyone's in rebuild mode. There's new, new fans coming in. There's new battlers coming in. We need that energy. We do. We absolutely fucking do. Um, that is a segue now into, cause after, after volume happens, right? Mm -hmm. Um, I seen uh, the block captain himself. The block captain himself Easy extends the black yet captain. another olive branch to URL. Put the egos aside for the ball, and let's let's get let's get back to the table. Let's man. let's get back to it, and let's figure something out now. Pose. What 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 I are you easy and, doing? I knew, and I said this before. I knew the niggas gonna try to come. Like these niggas all try to pull back up. They do. That's a normal occurrence for URL. What I didn't like the easy did was when he went on live popping it. Yeah, that was that was that was it. And then he tried to say, Y'all niggas doing so bad. They trying to get me back. That's not that's no not the way to do that. Mm-mm. That is not what happened, nigga. We seen the tweet. <laughs> you tweeted them, niggas. Don't try to change this shit. Hey, y'all niggas was doing so bad. Y'all so ass. They trying to get me back. That's not what happened, bro. Yeah, I, I think the tweet was okay, but the live ruined any opportunity. Yeah, like, the live was, kind of stepped on. He was tweet. on that live talking like Scarface Al Pacino. He was like, yeah. he, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, Oh, why do y'all think I'm going back over there and taking a budget cut? Like, he like, I'm not taking no budget cut. I ain't taking I'm, no budget cut? Yeah, he was popping it. My nigga like, you was, bro, stop it. Like, you you ain't win your last, arguably your last couple, like, two battles. Your last two battles been debatable. The Geechee ain't debatable, but your last battle was debatable. So it's like, you can't really, nah, man, you I wilding. Didn't think, he sh- he should have just been a little humble. That. And, and, and you know what the crazy part is, too? Because we had talked about this in the Bar Guys show, and this is before, I think that was before the live, actually. And he had just, this, just his tweet was out. All right, you know what I mean? Let's let bygones be bygones. Let's get back to the table. And I'm like, okay, you know what I'm saying? Uh, as a fan, I know that just everything aside, right? When Easy is on the court or was on the court at URL, he was turning into one of the most reliable battlers in battle rap. Nah, he was. Period. He was. Right? Win, lose, or draw, he was giving you great battles, great matchups, moments, all of that. You know what I'm saying? He's leaving He's everything reliable. on the court. Yeah. I still believe he does have that ability. But yeah. we can't, we will not, and we cannot forget about the year long, right? Shitting on URL from the process to yeah. P to just everything about the system to the app to the business to the we can't you forget about that, bro. Out. We can't. All and when he I wrote the tweet, the I almost for, I forgot about it damn near, right? Yeah. And then he gets on the live, and it's like, well, damn. Yeah, he he was talking too crazy on the live, and it's just like, bro, URL really don't need you because they shown that they can 
keep going without you. You were their premier person on there. You left, and they kept going. It, granted, what y'all, some people might say, yeah, they, they cars ain't as been as good, but the ones they've been trying to sell out, Summer Madness sold out. Um, True. Homecoming sold out. True. The ones they've been trying to sell out, they have been selling out. So you can't really, um, you know what I mean? Like you can't really, like you, he don't have no leverage. What leverage do he have? I think, I think right now, you know what I'm saying? And like, again, man, that, 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 that live just like stepped on it, man. That, that, that really like, uh, because, because I guess if you URL on some level, you like, okay, you know what type of talent he is. A1 talent, right? Like this is, this is a guy who, who put the, the song top tier, right? Listen to Listen to what he's saying in top tier. A lot of that shit is what we just set up here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What to get back to? Right? Yeah, the, 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 that song is fucking powerful. I don't. I don't care what nobody say. But, bro, like at the same time, though, if I'm URL and I know, you know, regardless of what anybody wants to say, when it comes to creating stars or pushing new stars in battle rap, nobody has a better track record, in my opinion, than URL. They don't. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's, like, it's just what it is. So, you know, you kind of got to come through with your hat in your hand. You know what I'm saying? A little bit more humble with it. Uh, you know what I'm saying? If you're going to do that. Uh, because there was a lot of talk over the last year or so. You know what I'm saying? And I and I, I see what Easy's doing with the trenches and things like that. And he's, he's going off independently doing what he's doing. Now, we fast forward, you know, six months later. You went to a Battle Academy. You know what I'm saying? You get into it like Haas is gone. You know what I'm saying? It seems like there's a, the steam is kind of, you know what I'm saying? Like you got talent over and there. And then not only that, like but, Chrome yeah. 23 is is rumored to be doing, like, you know, they've been hinting that they're doing a card in the summer, but right. Remy Ma has been talking a lot. And that song she got with Connie Diamond, like, you know, they Connie, Connie Diamond is like pushing that song. So right. it's like if she pushing that song and Remy is on the song, Remy's gonna have to be flying out, performing different places as she is doing. And that takes away from Chrome. So it's like you don't Chrome, you gotta kinda wait for Remy to be done with her schedule in order for Chrome to happen. Then for your own league, you could do your own league, but everybody know when you throw your own shit, what happens? You don't get your profit up front, you get your profit on the back end. The back so end. Yeah. You you ain't make you you're spending money up front and you're making your money on the back end. So that's not up front bread. So I think he in a situation where he just want up front bread. Like up front situ you know what I mean? Like yeah. bread where he ain't gotta take a chance of taking a loss. He just wants some guarantee, you know what I mean? A guarantee bag and a YouTube drop. But the, the, and they know that. So they're not gonna do that. Like it's, it does that, that situation it, is over. Yeah, and I, I see I you know, again, I go back to you got the live and the persona there and all of that other stuff. You cannot deny what Easy was for about a six, seven battle streak of work, bro. He put it, he he was fucking cooking. He was giving them great content, bro. He was. So I you know, it's it's like a hopefully there could be a closed door talk about it, but you know, again, I you know, that 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 live to me, when I saw that, I was like, No, man. No, and then immediately after that, I see like the new guys, you know, some of the, you know, what people consider mid-tier guys immediately like, no, nah, don't bring your ass back over here. That type of shit, right? So it's just like, do you want to come back to URL on some heel shit? You know, like if this is wrestling, you want to come back on some heel shit? Or do you want to yeah. ingratiate yourself back to the the platform and the public and, and you know, remind people of why? Before you left, you were him. You were like turn like you were turning into that that guy to carry the platform on on your goddamn shoulders like Tay Rock did for years. You know what I mean? Like the other guys who are considered legends did for years. Like, you know, so that that I mean, I guess that's kind of the thing, right? And I know he's building talent through the trenches and things like that and shout out to them brothers and all that, but it's not quite there yet, you know? And then you got the Battle Academy situation, which I'm gonna be honest, man. Did y'all see Battle Academy on uh J on uh J Black on uh the motherfucking uh champion? Boy, was nah, they going about? crazy, bruh. What they, what they was talking about Stiz and them? Shit, man. They like, man. Oh yeah, they was popping it. Oh man, they were like no more events in Philly. Like you kinda 
you know, the whole situation with Haas, they like, well, that was the last kind of link to what's going on in Philadelphia. And they feel slighted. They feel like, bro, well, you got you got yourself to a certain position and you shit it on us, you know, and we was here and we was we was cooking up for Philly before you even became what you became. It didn't have to be that, you know, Um and they and they not they not relenting on that. You know, Stiz says something, uh, Forty Eight Laws of Power, super overrated book, but man, he's like I you know, I crush the enemies completely, you know? Um, that that's tough. That's tough. When you fight in a war on multiple fronts, that's 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 a tough situation to be in, in my opinion. You know, doesn't mean he can't come back and do what he needs to do and stuff like that, but um that that's a tough position to be in, bro. And the leverage is in URL's favor in this situation. If you're gonna join back, right? So right. that's what that that whole situation is is brutal because mm-hmm. you know what the product is, and I th- there's no doubt in my mind that if Easy versus Tay Rock gets announced tomorrow for a summer card in July or June, that it that I mean that's, that's no lucky, he right no he said on his live that he would do the twerk over there. He wants to battle twerk over there in exchange. That he can battle Tay Rock on Chrome. Mm. Oh, that ain't happening. He know. said that on his live. He said that he would like to do the twerk. Pause. That was crazy. <laughs> he would like to battle. He would like to battle New Jersey twerk. Um, on there, and it got to be a YouTube drop. Mm. And then, in exchange, if he could battle Tay Rock on on Chrome, he he'll try to do it like that. Who did this nigga think he is? I don't man? know, man. <sighs> yeah, well, I get the like what. This nigga, I, but look, man, I, I, like I don't you know, man. Luck doing the opposite, where you battle twerk on the on the other, and then yeah, you like yeah, rock that's it. Yeah. You think we're gonna give you the rock battle? <laughs> yeah, nigga, the rock God. battle, the rock battle will like make him back hot again. Like they know that. Like it's no yeah. battle he got. It's no, I don't think it's no battle. Oh well, the big K battle, the big but K. even the big K battle, yeah, the big K battle, but that's a that yeah. That's that's one of those right there. Yeah, but he ain't on a, he he ain't on a win streak, so he going into that battle cold. K, so it's like K is more of a heel than easy though. Nah, but K just won Cody. Yeah, so it's like people like K. Champion, man. They they voted for even heel or not, they voted for him. They ain't vote for easy for Cody. They voted for him. That's true. That's true. So he's a heel, but he's a like heel. He you ain't like a, a ter- heel. like on wrestling terms. If you like, he's one term. he's one of them hills that. Can tell you shut the hell up and you be like, <laughs> like he he's like he block niggas and niggas still feet like you know he's just one of them type of like Stone Cold yeah, he, Steve Austin kind of hills. Yeah. Oh. Roman Roman is a hill. He in that form. Yeah, oh. yeah, like he could diss a nigga and nigga like that's his rollout. Like I'm blocking you. I don't like you niggas, but they you nerds. But like yeah, they he's like that a hill, shit. but he's like I like your easy. He very unlikable man. Oof. Easy is like a JBL kind of archetype of him. Like he, he's a, <laughs> like I used to fuck with Easy. He's just very unlikable. Like yeah, this, he, this, this new like made you niggas Muslim poppy type. It <laughs> Easy like man. I do not like this nigga, man. I do not. I he's a talent though. I'm just yeah, talking about not him as talent. like a talent. He wanted he fire, but right. It's the person right now is just so different from what I what I remember. <laughs> Yeah, he definitely man, that uh JBL Hill shit. That hit different. Remember when Paul niggas Hill, said he had JBL. Nah, he had JB Hill, JBL like Hill archetype. Like niggas niggas yo, niggas hated JBL. Hayden. Remember Paul Heyman was like, only reason you were champion is because Triple H didn't want to work Tuesdays. Like what? <laughs> like that went crazy. Remember he said that? That went crazy. I said, damn. Yeah. Like yeah, Nah, JBL was told- the most he was the most hated. He was the most hated nigga, bro. Niggas hated I don't that nigga. Put up JBL because of how easy he's come up. He was one of the most like champion niggas right now. He we was, fuck with man. Easy. So I'm trying to think of a character, a nigga that we championed. I mean, then at first like, he started this, off like Rocky, yeah. like the 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 diamond in the rough. Like he not even supposed to be here. Then. You know, right. Rocky gets the title and is acting all, you know, entitled and shit and Hollywood and all of that runs into Clubber Lang. And then it's like, nigga, you got to you got to get back to it. But he never had that. Well, see, Rocky know, never that, was that, popping it like Rocky. Rocky never was popping it and just being full villain hill with it. True. True. This nigga, I don't know who we could compare easy to, man. Yeah. Yeah. 
I yeah, just, nah, he definitely. I mean, he's definitely. Uh, nigga said he's CM Punk, low key. CM Punk. CM Punk. Interesting. Damn. <laughs> Hell no, cause CM Punk. People like CM Punk, yo. He's a hill that people don't like. You y'all naming hills that niggas like. Like he, he, he kind of like. I mean, you could say Triple X kind of because Triple X when he came up, what? like him with gun titles, him with DX. Ooh. Uh, he was likable. And then when he became Triple like, he huh? said Triple H, he Triple H. I'm I'm, I'm powering through that. Yeah. that Triple, crazy. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I, I type, I type, hit the likes here. And I'm, I'm just my fault. I'm typing and talking. But <laughs> Triple H, um, when Yo, he what was tabs with, you got open in your computer, Polo? Close some shits, bro. Relax. Nah, hey, niggas. I don't know. Was Triple H ever a, a, a baby face? What'd you say? Nah. Bro? Nah. Was Triple H ever a baby face? Hell nah, no. he wasn't because he was trying to be a vampire. Then he was uh <laughs> What? Yeah, nah. Nah, Triple nah, nah, H nah. was never a baby face. The most you got with DX and they was they were Yeah, that's uh, what I'm saying. They we, were anti heroes. Yeah. Like they had all the traits of a heel, but like motherfuckers liked them. You know what I'm saying? Nigga yeah. said big boss man, stop it. Not nah, big Jeff Jar hey, Jeff dude. Jarrett is cool. That's a cool one. But people like Jeff Jarrett. But anyway. He, I, I just feel like Damn, I don't know, man. He yeah, backed himself into shit. a corner. Brandy he backed Orton. himself into a. Uh, he made a few. Cru he made very few. A uh, very. He made a lot of mistakes, crucial mistakes in business. Um, mm -hmm. like I, I just feel like he showed his hand. Mm -hmm. You know the world, like the battle rap community, kind of. We all seen the last six months, so like the leverage is kind of gone. Like we, like you know, you ain't really like. So I think they know that. So yeah. I mean, they, it's a possibility they could still fuck with him, yeah. but they he got a they gonna humble him like they gonna I make him know that. See what happens with the next couple of battles or situations or cards. I think he should just stay doing what he's doing, man. Just I agree stay. With that too, I agree. Like it's over. Some relationships is over, bro. Like I, I like they, I like what he's I see trenches is is tough because you know the thing is about like especially new platforms and stuff you're going to have your you're going to have your bumps and bruises with this shit right like so he's a league owner now so it's like it's a little bit more at stake but he's a top tier talent as well so like uh, he's trying to learn how to navigate that it's not like he's uh you know like when by the time John John and uh, even Arsenal at, to a point like when they started their situations they kind of were already you know what I mean like they were established and shit even though John took more battles and Arsenal did too I feel like with easy it was like man you you just had that sort of you know what I mean your your tenure as a top tier talent wasn't you know what I mean there there wasn't as uh, much time before you did that to transition and over the trenches and there's still battles and there's still work for him out here for sure and again I don't think this has as much what we're seeing up here doesn't have as much to do with the on the court talent. Like we know what Easy could bring to the court, right? Objectively, without all the lives and all the shit or whatever, we know what Easy could do on that court. We do, we do. You know what I'm saying? And I only think URL would deny that. But there's other situations at play that kind of may make that situation hard to navigate. So I mean, I get that. I get that. Yeah. I do. Yeah, so he, I mean, he just gotta figure that out. Um, yeah. All right. With that, with that being said, then we uh we have a couple of different cards that are coming up and things like that. Uh, shout out to the people that's in the live, join the Discord if you can. Um, you know what I mean. Make sure you subscribe and share the stream. Now you have the Battle Academy card, and you also have the Breed Different this uh, weekend as well with the new talent on RBE. Um, I think we should probably start with the uh, the Battle Academy uh, card and everything. So this is gonna be in Philadelphia, right? Uh, let me let me uh, pull up that card really quick. That's called Stand on Business. Um, you know, uh, they they've been doing some promo for that. I've been I actually been uh yeah I've been seeing them do promo for that. Yeah, I, I like mm -hmm. the promo for that. Like uh you know I, I definitely want to do some post game work with that uh with that situation and everything. Um, I want. I'm trying to dig up the flyer. Here. That's versus Bill Collect. That's the main event. That yes. battle never happened. Uh, who? Wait, what? Chess and Bill Collector. That battle never happened. In my brain, I seen that battle. Nah, that yeah, That's that great. that battle. Nah, that that never happened. 
I don't I don't think. Right, yeah, that's that's on uh so that that's gonna be on Rap Grid. There is a pay per view associated with that. So this is the card. You have uh Miss Hustle versus Shank Prezi. Interesting. Um you have um Snake Eyes versus K Walker. You got Shotgun Shug versus Top Floor Loot. I like that battle a lot. I like them last two a lot. You got Prep versus Tay Rock, and you have Chess versus Bill Collector. That's stand on business. You know what I'm saying? That's going to be on the 23rd, pay-per-view available and things like that. We can give some predictions, um, you know, kind of walk through the card. I, listen, I've always rocked with Battle Academy, man. Big salute to Stiz. Even when Philly was going through the uh, kind of dormant period or whatever, like, I thought Battle Academy really held it down. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to them and shout out to Crack Liberty as well. Um, but, um, but yeah, I like this. I like this card. Now, Shank Prezi, not familiar with his game. I'm gonna be honest, uh, versus Miss Hustle. Um, interesting. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, Shank with two Ks, like you, you better work, bro. Cause I don't think Hustle is playing with nobody. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to that battle, but I don't really know much about the ball to be, uh, you know what I mean? Crit criticizing it either way. Now he was talking on champion, like, it's not going to be a walkthrough. You know what I mean? It's his first time battling a lady. And you battling not just a lady, but you battling a lady that beat. She she be she wild. She be wilding. You know what I'm saying? So you better have some shit. Um, let's skip over the top floor loop versus uh, Shotgun Shug. What do y'all think about that battle? Who do y'all got winning type of thing? Top floor versus Shug? Yeah. Yeah, man. Um... On Battle Academy in Philly, yeah, I'm gonna go top. I'm gonna go top floor. Mm. Mm. Okay. I got Shug. I saw Shug. Shotgun Shug run into uh, uh, Gilly. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And uh, it was like, yeah, I'm battling Philadelphia. So I'm battling top floor loot. And uh, Gilly's like, he's like, yo, he, he's like, you know him? He's like, nah, I'm not familiar with him and shit. You know what I'm saying? Top floor loot is the type of guy to take that personally. Uh, the way Top Floor Loot's been 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 really talking that shit, he has. I think the pressure is squarely on him for a good performance. I do think he's going to be able to deliver. You know what I'm saying? I think it's going to be a good battle, though. I like that. I like the battle. Um, I got Top Floor Loot in that battle. Um, Prep versus Tay Rock. What do you got? Prep versus Tay Rock. Prep versus Tay Rock. Retirement Rock. Yeah, that look. And hell no. I got prep 2 1 look here. 2 1. This nigga's crazy. I think the fatigue, man. Fatigue. Nah, yeah. man. I I think the Farm serious. Was on the Swiss cheese and watch this. Yeah. Nah, I got I got Tay Rock 30. I think Tay Rock going to have another one of them crazy. But, and I'm going to be honest. Tay Rock is an energy nigga. If yeah. the crowd is ass, Tay Rock can't really feed off no shit like that. Them, like, if you ever notice. The um the cartel crowd, the shaking the cake, niggas was going crazy. If you think Philly Battle Rap Academy, them niggas ain't gonna be going crazy in that building, you wilding out. He he's gonna feed off that and go crazy. Uh, the only reason we seen a lackluster Tay Rock performance is because that volume crowd was egregious. I it, it, yo, you know what? That's a that's a good point. And I also don't think Tay Rock wants to lose to anybody from Merlin. No. Oh, it's a one rounder? I think yeah, I think this is a one rounder. I think so. Wait, they all one rounders? I don't think they're all one rounders. I think that one is. Yeah, they got this nigga prep looking like my like a Dragon Ball Z character with this like this beanie. Like this shit like a yeah. like he's super Saiyan and shit. I thought on the fly. Prep had a, a blonde afro. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> niggas wilding the fuck out, whoever did that. that. Yeah, that's that's uh Oh nah, if it's a one rounder, that nigga's dying. <laughs> one round? <laughs> Prep's dying so? one rounder? He's dying. One yo, what? Rocking one round? One nah, round he's rock. dying. Holy shit. Yeah. He ain't got to do three. Oh, yeah. Nah, he's yeah, wild. Four, prep. four minutes, Tay Rock, some AMG, some prep flips, and some. Yeah. You know what I'm Just saying? Just rocking chest battles think, are one round. I think that, uh, based on how prep was talking, man, this shit mean a lot to him. And he feels disrespected by the fact that you got other shit going on. You know, is this the type of battle? Like, all of this factors into the fatigue of. Tay Rock, you see what I'm saying? Because he's writing for multiple battles at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm gonna still, I'm gonna go with Rock. You know, one round Tay Rock, the type of uh, energy that he brings to the table. I feel like he still could uh, could get the battle. Um, Snake Eyes versus K Walker. What do you guys think? 
Now you're going to stay walking. Yeah, this is where things getting spicy. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I ain't going to lie. Promo for this has been excellent. K. Walker came to Harlem, walked yeah. around, asked people if they knew him. I ain't going to lie. Wait, they did. I never oh, yeah, that. nah. They went to Harlem. Although, they was although, asking niggas. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I got to be honest. First of all, it did not. It like, I... And y'all going up to like old ladies and was I don't like know who the fuck like... Niggas went up to like a construction worker. Like, bro, what? Like, y'all not even going up to nobody that looked like they from. Huh? Snake Eyes from the east side of Harlem, right? Yeah, y'all was on the west side, too. Like, y'all not even in the same... That's damn near a whole nother, like... Like, the east side and the, the west side The east and the west... Two different... The west is like the Spanish side. Like, what? yeah, the west is like the Spanish... Like, the west is... Going to the west is like going towards uptown Amsterdam and all that. That's like Washington Heights and that. The east is kind of like... We ain't get it like you know, Rucker Park, all that it's a polo grounds, all that the east because the west is like the gentrification, Columbia. Yeah, the west is where all, all the white like, people at. You got you got a Whole Foods over there, yeah. Like, like the, the you know, it's like if you're in Brooklyn and you're like, oh, I'm in East New York versus like you know what I'm saying, like, oh, exactly, I'm, I'm near Park it, Slope, like, nigga, that's so, damn near two different places, like, yeah, they went to like, yeah, that's like a nigga going to Park. Nah, you ask a nigga at Park Slope, you know, the nigga still might say, you know me, but. It parks. That's like a nigga going to like one of the white areas, or type shit, shit like that. Yeah, like that wasn't even. But I respect anyway, the they did the promo. They came over there. They was asking. So I mean, ah, it's cool. But like I said, I t I said this on the ball guy show. K respect the K Walker salute, but he ain't in the same class as like Snake Eyes. Like Snake Eyes is just a more experienced battle rapper, and I think Snake Eyes is gonna. Uh, I think Snake Eyes is, is back in that mad against the world back. Yep. So I think he's gonna go out yeah. there and try to really. I got snake. Yeah, I got, I got snake. I got snake eyes in the battle too. I do, I do. And as as much respect as I have for K Walker, I think uh, I think Snake is um, yeah. It's a different. It's a different type of time. And plus, quiet is kept. That nigga don't really be losing to y'all Philly niggas like that, bro. I'm yeah, he be clean. walking through y'all Philly he niggas. He don't man. be losing to y'all. I don't know if it's a Harlem Philly thing, but he don't really be losing to y'all niggas, bro. Like so. Yeah, Walker. And damn, you know, Kendrick Lamar just dissed J. Cole and Drake. Oh, yeah, we're gonna get to that after the show. We're gonna listen to that OT. Oh, oh. okay. <laughs> Yo, Kendrick gotta stop it, man. He want he wanna like he kills me, man. Like this nigga what wanna know we gotta address these niggas. First yeah. off, I, I ain't like the fact that during one of the most times where it was a lot of racial injustice going on with police, all this shit. Him being one of the, the main niggas eating off that style. Right. He ain't speak up. Nigga just disappeared. He was dead. Ass. I ain't like we that. Spoke, we spoke. We dropped the album. And then he dropped an album three years. I was getting my mental right. I couldn't care about the... Getting my mental right. Like, nigga, shut up. We don't care about that shit. I want to hear that shit. I was getting my mental right. I couldn't think about the whole and fight. And I'm going to be honest. J. Cole right now, shit. Mm. I like what I'm hearing from Cole a lot. I'm well, is saying. Cole prepared to go... You know, yes. Cole be ducking. Oh, a smoke ducker. <laughs> smoke. No, he's not. No, he's not. Yes, huh? When niggas want to like, nah, let's do it. Remember the, remember the. K um... K O D basically dissed the whole era of hip hop. Nah, but when niggas want problems with Cole, he duck. Nah, I saw a good man Wale. Remember he came out Wale, Wale like let's do it, nigga. He didn't want. Next to day they had the what's the name chilling. I saw a good my brother. Like nah, nigga, say what you say with your chest. Let's do it. I think I think I think Cole Cole is on the court for Kendrick this time. Okay, so this is this your time, Cole. Say something. Let's get to it then. <laughs> Stop ducking shit. Hey, Posey nah, J. Cole, J. Cole, J. Cole. You hear, you hear Posey popping it? He on the LA shit. You hear him? Nah, Cole. Well, what's Cole the name of the song man. he dissed these niggas on? Oh, it's yeah. off the future off the um, Metro album. Who album just dropped? Oh, Metro. Oh, okay. Like that. Metro and future future and Metro. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. But yeah, keep going though, y'all. Yeah, yeah. So I got I got I got Snake in that battle against K Walker for sure. Uh Chess versus Bill. Chess versus Bill Collector. Chess and Bill. Uh I got Bill Bally. Yeah. Um, I don't know what's gonna happen to Chess. If you're gonna throw it, I don't know. Does I Chess Bill. usually drop back to back mix stinkers like or back to back, you know, issues <laughs> like that? Does the, the, the hustle situation inspire him a little more? Probably. I I just feel like uh like Bill, the way Bill is rapping lately, in my opinion. Now the clean battle was a little bit of a detour to the type of shit that I'm you know, I've grown accustomed to with Bill over the last two years. The Bill that battled bad news is dangerous. The Mac Myron Bill, 
dangerous, like no lie. So if he's if he's standing on business, so to speak, right? Pun intended here. Yeah, chess chess gonna have issues. Even if chess is clean, he's still gonna have issues with Bill. I, that's what I think. So I'm going Bill Collector with the battle, for sure. But um, yeah, I got Bill. That's Battle Academy. Stand on business. You know what I'm saying? Um, available on Rap Grid and things like that. You know, what they I'm said saying? they going upside niggas' heads that they bootlegging and shit. They they said that they did. Um, they did. A- according to but the bootleggers, oh, I don't know why. I don't know, Stiz. You should have did that. I don't know if you should have did that either, Stiz. Because I seen the bootleggers. They in a bag, like nigga. Now really, fuck you. It's up. <laughs> I got the link. I think DNA Tooth did a little. Nigga, it's up now. Right. It's free for everybody. Like, bro, I don't know why he did that, man. Mm-hmm. It is, man. Mm-hmm. One thing about but, battle rap culture is that the more you call out the dark side and the trolls, we're defi- like, yeah, very defiant. The worse they are, right? Like, don't try to tell us what to do. We're going to do the opposite, man. Yeah. Yeah. You should have did that. Yo, please support, man. You should have did that rollout because, bro, this rollout right here. Yeah. That that doesn't. Nah, I do definitely support the event though, man. Hundred percent, man. Thirty five bucks on Rap Grid right now, so go ahead and uh, check that out as well. Now, I I do have a, um, you know, now the breed different is mostly new uh, talent and stuff like that. It is a two day uh, card. I've actually interviewed most of the people that are gonna be on both, you know, both days and things like that. What I'll say is because, you know, we got you got some time to kind of talk about that and stuff like that. You know, that's more my lane in terms of the new guys and stuff. What I'll say about the card overall is that this is the type of card that uh, and shout shout out to uh, Profit and Drewski. And, you know, I mean, the the guys are going to be on the card and shit. I'm spoken and raw image and Ziggy and and so on and so forth. But this is the type of card that really uh, separates the talent. You know what I'm saying? Like every now and again especially with these brick and intake cards and stuff like that, you're starting to see a separation between who's going to be the guys on the roster, who's going to be carrying the mantle and shit, and there's going to be cuts made. Now, what I know about Wing is, like, she's been putting together all this talent, and she got people from all different regions, you know what I'm saying? Um, There's going to be some cuts made after this, or there's going to be people that, you know, ascend to a different level off of uh, this card right here. So it's going to be consequential. A lot of matchups to go through. We're not going to... You know, go through go through all of them and stuff. We've definitely been covering it in the New Valor Spotlights and stuff, which you guys have been supporting, so I appreciate that. But, um, you know, this is the type of card where, you know, what you do this weekend could very much determine your tenure on RBE. So I don't think anybody should be slacking, whether you're at the bottom of the card or the top of it, because, like, the goal is to beat your opponent, but it's also to show that you can uh, really be in the arena at RBE. So... Big shout out to that. I mean, this is, you know, this is in Virginia. There's going to be a VOD for it as well. It's no pay-per-view and stuff. And that's also going to be available on Rap Grid. So make sure y'all go and support that as well. It's a lot of a lot of battles on that. And I may uh, spin the block on the recaps and stuff like that. Just do like some sync ups with some of the people. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'll be tapped in with the new guys and shit. And they was really talking a lot of shit in the, uh, from the spaces to... The sync ups and everything on the Battler spotlights and all that, like they talking a lot of shit about how this is gonna go. So I may do one of them big like Royal Rumble type, you know, recap or whatever type of things and shit. So shout out to that. I've been a big supporter of that. And as you guys know, I do, uh, you know, manage one of the guys over there. Shout out my man Death. You know what I mean? Uh, doing his goddamn thing. Um, now, rap off versus the riot. Did you see that uh, flyer post? Did you see that? <clears throat> okay. Wait, okay. what? You got rap off versus the riot. This is uh taking place in what's Los rap Angeles. off? This is the, yeah, rap off is like ill mac and uh all right. So all right, did you, so let let's go down the list of the car right. So you know ill mac supports like rap off. Rap off I think is where uh ketchup versus mustard happened and shit and like you know they do like these kind of novelty esque battles, but there's actual battlers that are attached to the rap off platform right and this is in your uh neck of the woods over in uh los angeles right so this is uh at los in los angeles this is um live at the crypto cypher uh what does it say crypto cypher web 2 
What does that mean? I don't know what that means. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so this is in L.A., you know what I'm saying? I think there will be a pay-per-view. Oh, no, this is at the, the Flat Factory, right? Oh, okay. Uh, uh, 1130 South Los Angeles Street in Los Angeles, California. All right, I don't know if you know where that is, but you got Jack, J-A-Q versus The Spot. Shout out to The Spot. Ron Compton versus D-Money. Remember, D-Money was the guy that... um. That Geechee Gotti kind of you know shit on in the uh the live where they they gave him the bread and then he just came through. Oh, the, the kid from Philly. Yeah, 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 yeah. He kind of you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> and I that was that, funny that, as hell. That, but Gotti told man. him later on, "Yo, I got you, bro. Like you know what I'm saying. I'm a you know I was trolling with that, so I'm gonna get you a plate on the riot. So the brother kept his word. You know what I mean? Like a real like real champion. So that was dope. Um, uh, you got Emerson Kennedy versus uh a uh, real sick. That's a fire battle. You got Danny Myers versus my verse. Your, your cousin about to be in there blushing. Uh, you got he valid my verse. He is. He is Danny Myers versus my verse. You got oh, hey. next versus Big K. Big K's first matchup after winning champion of the year. And you got Geechee Gotti versus Ilmac. Uh, that's a battle I like. If I niggas like didn't battle, huh? What'd you say? Geechee and Ilmac didn't battle? No, they haven't battled. No. Why oh, I think haven't. I seen these battles in my brain. No. Nah. No. They never battled. He battled. Didn't he battle like he battled uh what's the other one? The source? He battled the source though, right? Uh did he battle the source? I don't know if he battled the source. I don't know about that. I could have sworn Geechee battled the source, man. What am I I don't they say Did yes. The, the chat is saying yes. Yeah. The, the chat, okay, the chat is right. saying yes. That is that that might be like uh Geechee's like last battle of like the West Coast gauntlet. You know what I'm saying? Everyone else, Gotti is yeah. actually battled from out west, right? So um Geechee Gotti versus Ilmac is dope to me. You know what I'm saying? Uh Ilmac versus uh Rum was fire, in my opinion. So you could have that type of battle. The to me, the matchup I'm watching as well. Uh, besides that, is that real sick Emerson Kennedy? You know what I'm saying? I feel like uh, I feel like Killer Cam. Yeah, that's gonna be fire. Yeah, I feel like Bro's gonna do some work on that one. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, let me see something. Hold on, I just got a call. Um, but I think I think uh, so. That's the ride. So yeah, the riot side is Geechee. Uh, next, Danny Myers, uh, Emerson Kennedy, Ron Compton, and Jack. The wrap off side is Ill Mac, Big K, My Verse, Real Sick, D Money, and The Spot. All right, so that's what's going on with that. That's going to be a live situation, you know what I'm saying? So that's going to be uh, available. So this that's this weekend as well. So you got three different cars going on this weekend, all different types of battle rap. Uh, we told y'all March is really it's really March Madness, man. It's, it's like, too much, yeah. It's, it's too much battle rap, man. It's a lot of battle rap. It's a lot of battle rap. But I will say, uh, in general, um, I feel like the riot, uh, the riot, uh, not the riot, uh, cartel. That cartel cage card. That's I fucked with. I fucked with some of them that, battles that here. Shit was, that was a dope ass card. That's the one to beat, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna see. What type of battles we get uh, coming at, coming out of that? So, so that's dope. So that's uh, battle rap things. You know what I'm saying? Um, we're at about two hours here, gentlemen. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, so that's what that is. Now, uh, for the people that's out there that are listening and in tune, make sure you share the stream. Give us your thoughts, your opinions, uh, takes, and things like that. Some of y'all predictions on the cards that's coming up uh, and stuff like that as well. And, um, you know, tap in with us, man. Follow the, uh, the streams, the Discord. Jump on the, uh, the Twitter, the Twitter spaces. Like I said, a lot of y'all really been supporting the New Battle Spotlights. And the multi-streams. That's been really dope for us. So, um, you know, big shout out to y'all for that. And join the Discord. Make sure y'all do that. You know? Wait, they got... Oh, it's one more card. Yes, there is one. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got I to gotta talk yeah, about just, it. Just, gotta, yeah, just go ahead. And just it's it. names just on it. this card, too. I can't even do that. Um, Hold on. Did we... Did, <laughs> what's it? 48 in the lane? What are we doing? That is that the name of the card? No way. Four... No. 48 in the lake. Oh, 48 in the lake. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
This is um this is gonna be Stretch versus Foe at Dev. Dev the Demon is getting a lot of work. Oh nah, this car fire. I'm sorry, I can't even do that. Stop, stop, pose. Don't do that. You got 40 bars versus Fendi. You got Real Deal versus Homesy to God. You got Quest McCody, who I'm gonna be uh syncing up with at some point during the week or whatever, like after this card and everything, versus Rum Nitty. You got Marv One versus Av. You got the Source versus B Magic. This card's dope. This card. They didn't dope. battle. No, they never battle. They never battle. I don't bro. know why. I, I see most of these battles in my brain, man. No way. See, it's a lot of people who've been on the same card as each other, but never actually battled before. So that's what that's what you get sometimes, right? But I like that that forty and Fendi, that real deal, Holmesy Quest Rum Nitty. That this card is dope. This might actually end up being the best card of the weekend. No lie. No, like just from a battle rap form, competitive standpoint, and all that. I, I like Ab versus uh Marv One too. You know, Marvel in this Hall of Pain, Mark Henry type shit lately. You know what I mean? So and um <laughs> You know what I mean? Who's yeah, the main event? Lie. So it, who's the main event of this fight? Flores and, and magic. Yeah, 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 magic. magic. I guess respectfully well, I, that, to y'all, y'all must have threw this event because Av and Marv should definitely have been the main event. Yeah, that's I mean that's clearly the main event, right? Like to to me. I mean the flyer placement for me showed me who the main. They got the source is the biggest. I don't. I mean they got the source and Magic. Av and Marv is the main event in my head, right? But you know Magic is like a powerful on that on that side on that KLCD type He's world. Strong. Yeah, he is. He is. He is over Marv and Av. Nah, I don't. I I can't do that over Av. Definitely over no, no, no. This is Hell on Mike. No. This is on Mike Masters. This is this is on Mike. Oh, Masters. yeah. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> no pause. What? What master? The league is that's called the, Mike Masters Alliance. Yeah, change that name ASAP. Come on, B. Mike Masters Alliance man. presents. We're not doing that. Come on, relax. relax. Change that name ASAP, brothers. Nah, hey. but um, okay. So that's the Source League. No, that's no, no. one of them. What? Why are they at the end of the flight? And that's B Magic League. I don't know. I have no idea, bro. I I don't. Got to be one of them niggas league. <laughs> Honestly, the battle placement is kind of th- like now that you say, it, now that you mention it, it's kind of throwing me off to be real. Because like Marvin Av and Quest and Rum is like those battles to me hit like they they just jump off the page more than Thesaurus versus B Magic. To be real, you know what I'm saying. Um, That's what I'm saying. One of them niggas had to throw that at this card or oh, been a plug for niggas. Honestly, fuck around and Fendi and uh and 40 may be the like the Fendi better. and 40 on this? Hell yeah. Fendi versus 40 is on oh, this. Oh nah, 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 bro. The source might... and them definitely uh somebody definitely hosted that. Uh they definitely um throwing this shit. Yeah, you might have to move everything up and then put, you know what I'm saying? No, they no might have to throw that to source, source be magic logo. Oh, this is Utah. This battle's in Utah? Yeah, it's in Utah. And Utah randomly has a dope-ass battle rap crowd. Like, like this is what I hear from a lot of battlers who've been out there to battle. Salt Lake City, Utah is randomly a fire place to battle. Like, this is what I hear. Great crowd, all of that. Um, Yeah, I do see Lush and Organic in the middle of this. But this is put That's together. What I'm saying. By... That's why I, I, it's in that world. Like... Yes, it is. Yeah, world is funny. It is. It is. Uh, but yeah, yeah, forty eight in the lake. Okay, that makes sense. Salt Lake City, Utah. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. So there's uh, I don't see. Oh yeah, there's a pay. There's pay per view available as well. UtahRapper.com. I guess is the place where you can find the pay per view. This is very different. You know, UtahRapper.com. Hey, it's live pay per view. There is a live pay per view. Yes, sir. There mm. is. There is. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know anyone who lives in Utah. And stuff like that, you know, Mormons, shout out to y'all. But, um, you know, I like I said, I heard it was actually a really dope-ass place to battle. This is what I hear from battlers and shit. So, could end up being dope. I'm, I mean, you got some good-ass matchups on that, that John, as well. Like the, the 40, 40 and Fendi, Real Deal, Holmesy, Quest and Rum, Marv and Ad. I, bro, all right. All right. So, you got four different events happening this weekend. On all sides of battle. Oh my God. Wait, what's the events? I know the Philly shit, and now this just Utah Philly shit. Philly shit, the, right? I mean, the riot is this weekend? Yeah. Oh, Geechee. I mean, Geechee versus Ilmac? Yeah. Yeah. This Utah shit. 
Yep. I, I think EK is from Utah. EK from Salt. Ain't he from Utah? Uh, yes, I thought so. Yeah, but he's not even on this card. Killer Cam ain't on a card. No, no, he's on the rap off card against Real Sick. Bro, it's a lot. Y'all getting a lot of work, battlers. I don't want to hear nothing from none of y'all. It's about, yo, bro. Do you realize it's like somewhere? What? What is it like? Somewhere around sixty battlers are getting work this weekend. That's too much battle, man. Like, bruh. Like, cause think about it. The RB. Wait, card, everything is live. Pretty much everything has a pay per view attached to it. Well, except for the RB card is a VOD, but you're gonna you're pretty much gonna get that the next day. But that's Wait, all. RBE new people. got a card. What you say? Yes, RB the breed Man, different. I'm so with all. I gotta the new... get back on my battle rap. Shit. Breed, I ain't breed gonna lie. different. Yeah. <laughs> oh, rent wing shit. The spaces shit. Uh, it's not. Well, it's not spaces, but yes, it's wings. Uh, you know. No, the I'm RBE saying like system. the joint she been promoting in spaces. Absolutely, yeah. So, uh, so all of the new talent on RBE is basically battling this uh, weekend. It's a two day event. You got Rap Off versus the Riot. You got Philadelphia. You got a card in uh uh you know what I'm saying and Rap Off versus the Riot is in L.A. And then you got motherfucking Forty Eight in the Lake. You know what I'm saying? No shortage of work what, out here, bro. What's what, who the hell is on Rap Off? What's Rap Off versus the Riot? Who's on? That was that, that was the Ill Mac versus Gotti. Ill Mac. No, I'm saying what's the rest of the call? Ek versus Real Sick. Um, what else? Uh, Next Danny versus uh, Big K. Danny Myers versus my verse. Yeah. Like Danny bruh. Myers versus my verse. My yeah. verse back. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Danny gonna be in there blushing. You hear it? But but nah, Danny might fuck around and take that shit super serious. Like <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> 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 Danny might be wild and my verse up. I'm gonna come clean. But but still though, uh yeah, bro, you got like listen, it's a lot of work out here, bro. It's a lot of work, a lot of different types of work too. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, RBE card March 30th, Aver versus Ill Will, Young Gill versus the Saga, question mark versus question mark, and Charlie Clips versus Jay. Yeah, the full circle event, I think. Right? Saga is the RBE guy. It's another circle event. Yeah, full circle event. RB uh, Aver versus Will, Young Ill versus Saga. Yes, the Saga has made the the jump over to uh. RBE put all put out a whole post about it, and Saga has a show in it at the Apollo coming up too, which is fire. Out the Saga, yeah, but he's uh, made the jump over to RBE from URL. I ain't gonna lie, them circle um battles don't hit to me. I'm sorry, man. Dumb joints is ass. So look, respect. Really... Dumb joints is ass. Oh, I mean, it's just they just don't hit, man. I just like the regular battle rap. Yeah, just in the crowd, like that shit do not hit. Yeah, nah, that that definitely that ain't it. And I'm not saying that this is RBE. Like, I if URL was doing that, I said I would have said it was trash too. I just don't like. I personally don't like those battles. Mm. They don't have no crowd. Do, do those battles have a crowd? Or the one I nah, seen they had no, no crowd. No crowd. There's like the the whole. Nah, they said they allowing the crowd. I think like oh, a yeah, little small, a little small crowd. Okay. You can get tickets for. Oh, uh, maybe yeah. to be fired with this one, yeah. See, it's gonna look. Uh, I mean, my hope is that it'll look like uh, when Snake Eyes battled uh, uh, um, Bad News. Bad News, yeah, that, that was dope. Was that was dope. Them niggas was cooking in there too, but that was that was a dope ass battle. So, um, hopefully, it looks like that. Cause wait, so Aver battling? Oh, Ill Will? Yeah, Aver Ill Will. He already been popping shit about Ill Will too in the spaces. Holy cow! Like what I ain't gonna lie, I thought I thought Aver said he was retired. Nah, come on, man. This man. He retired I thought he said Mickey Fax was his last battle. Yeah, he nah. did roll that out. Y'all nope. better watch this. This is my last one. <laughs> 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 Without, he, this ain't his last battle. I seen man. Mickey Fax ran about it on Twitter. I guess Mickey Fax thought he had the last Aver battle. Ooh. Like, what? you know the nigga that caught, you know the nigga that Tom Brady gave his jersey to? Like, yeah, this is my last it's the football. He like, yeah, this is my last football I'm ever throwing. And nigga came back the next season. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like Mickey probably thought, yo, I had I got the last Averb battle in history. And then Averb just came back. Mickey couldn't have possibly thought that was really Averb's last battle, man. He was on Twitter like, damn, I see you. I thought niggas said they was bad. Wasn't battling no more. It took me. My yeah. spice sense was tingling. It took me a second to realize who he was talking about. <laughs> Once I realized. 
Bird might want to stay away from Mac Myron. That's a funny one of them funny. Man, niggas. Mac Myron just lost the cutthroat. Cut. Who was that? Cut the Eastwood, nigga on that bro. Cut, cut Eastwood. I'm... Who's Cut Eastwood? Salute to the brothers, brother. Yeah, cut, cut Eastwood. Oh, he's a nigga from Chicago. Yeah. Oh, salute, salute, man. My bad. He just beat Mac Myron. Yeah. Mac Myron ain't the same Mac Myron. Mac Myron was in there joking a lot. That nigga Cut Eastwood was getting right to business. You heard? He said, yo, sell it. Right. I'm in here with a bitch. Hey, hey, Polo, that's that intro was fire, man. Nah, that shit was hard. He wild on that. Yo, sell it. Ain't shit. I'm just sitting here with a bitch about to take his commissary. I'm like, oh yeah, he wild on this nigga. Nah, man. He ain't die, but he ain't come out alive either. Right, 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 right. Talk that. Talk that. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. I thought it was Mac Myron um pushed the nigga through the grant like he like pushed the nigga through the crowd. Did you see that battle? No. Did it ever come out? It's like a battle where Mac Myron get a nigga touched Mac Myron. He pushed the nigga hard. Oh shit! Nah, I ain't see Did that. that battle ever come out? I seen it on OTV, whatever the shit. OTFMZ. Mm -hmm. When yeah. was this? Like a like a month or two ago. He was about to go left with a nigga. That nigga like touched him in the battle and he pushed him. Damn. Damn it, the whole crowd was about to fall. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I never nah, seen I, that video. Mac yeah, Myron, nah, like I ain't see that. Zone, I seen um him versus Low Soldiers. I mean, the low, the two on two, I ain't see it yet, but it just dropped today. Mm. Yeah, that out. yeah, that's a lot of battles, man. That's a lot of battles coming up. A lot of shit going on. Uh, what, um, yeah. did we miss anything? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think that's I think that's it. Plenty of battle rap to watch this goddamn weekend. I'm gonna be honest with with the leagues and everything, man. Uh, some of this, I'm gonna have to put this shit in order, low key. You know what I'm saying? I understand. I'm a, you know, I got a two month old, so I got time. Oh wait, 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 wait! Ain't Vague got his card this weekend too? No, no, no. Vague's card is a Vague's card is uh, April sixth. Oh damn! Yeah, it's aggravated assault. That's down the street from uh from you, bro, in Brooklyn. He got. He got yo. Know, yeah, I ain't got, going to that. They they got some shit going on, man. You know what I'm saying? You might want to pull up to that card. I'm gonna come clean. That's that seems like it's gonna be a function, bro. Like, man, my schedule these next couple of weeks is hectic. Yeah. I ain't sorry, man. <laughs> but I, I'll I'll um I'll buy the pay per view though. It's, what is pay per view like twenty dollars? I'll cop that. Yeah, yeah, that shit, that shit, light work. You know what I'm saying? Then you got the smoke room and May like, hey, bro. It's no shortage of work out here. Is what I'm trying to say to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But um. But yeah, yeah, you know. Um, Let me just Kendrick. I think heard is I, I think listen to a little. That shit kind of. It's mid. All right, we're gonna. Get nah, it's not mid. Time. It's not mid at all. All right, it's decent. All right, so we gonna. He really saying them. He really shout. He really like dissing them niggas. Damn. He ain't really. Okay. All right, so, oh, so look, uh, shout out to everybody that's in the chat, everybody that follows us, man. Make sure you share the stream. Once again, follow us, join the Discord, join the Patreon as well. We up out of here, y'all.